what's going on, y'all? Uh, we're here today for the K-pop Reactor Awards for 2023. Uh-uh, uh-uh. The Reactor. Oh, my bad. The Reactor Awards. There you go. Yes, for 2023. Uh, we're choosing things that we like. Yes. Yes. We. Uh, yeah, yes. we. Yes. <laughs> and uh, we have a cast of uh, Reactors here. I'm pretty sure you guys are all familiar with them. Top to bottom. Uh, basically, what's on my screen, you know, everybody's is <laughs> configured different. We got Infinite Lot, we got K pop Prince, we got Differently Alike, we got Thena, and then we got TRC Reactions. Hi, hi everybody. Hi. hi. Hello. Uh, acting like we just spoke for the first time, even though we've been talking. About <laughs> <it>. <laughs> uh, are y'all ready for today? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That didn't sound confident at all. <laughs> As ready as I can be. <laughs> I'm a, it's like, like I'm little, ready, but I'm my homework. Like, yeah, ho- I'm like thinking because I'm so indecisive. So I'm like, do I want to say this? Like, I don't <laughs> know if you're like this. When you go order food, you have something set, and when you get to ordering, you order something completely different. <laughs> yep, that's how I feel well, right the, now. I'm the same boat. I'm just gonna pick on everybody else because I'm decisive as well. So. Okay, so uh, I think what we'll do is start with the most unprepared person here mm. from their words not mine uh bang bang boomerang there we go let's do it <laughs> <laughs> let's get right to the category man <laughs> best new artist group of 2023 who do you get uh, man all right so i've been moving this list around like crazy mm. y'all, y'all know this so <laughs> i'm sorry uh so best new artist group kiss of life Hey, let's do it. Why is there a question mark? <laughs> Why is there a question mark? Hey. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know, these months and these weeks, they be kind of blurring together. But uh, Kiss of Life, man, they had an explosive debut and they've been doing their thing ever since. So shout out. Uh, I'll just go next because I actually have Kiss of Life. What? As my rookie of the year for a group. Nice. Uh, they were in heavy contention. I feel like they had one of the best rollouts that I've seen in K-pop with the individual videos and everything and then the collage together they really felt like a hosh posh of individual members put together and now i don't see them as anything but a real group so kudos kiss of life hey man i'm gonna follow right up with that kiss of life she did my best as well i mean i feel like we've been saying it all year you know i feel like we've been like that we've been on the wavelength Right and wavelength, man. it's just like kiss right. of life. It's right in your frame. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's right there. <laughs> so I mean, look, so it's dumb. like bang bang said from the from the from the moment we we saw them, the rollout was immaculate, and they just you know commanded our attention. So yeah, best best new artist group for me. Got to go. I want to. Piggy- <laughs> I'm not. I'm going to piggyback real quick. Not that I chose kiss of life, but I want to okay. give them props for that tremendous rollout. That was like having a vision with your production team of like highlighting each member really quickly. But not only that, when they had their debut song with uh, doing at the end of the MV, a performance video, stitching that yeah. onto the same video yes. was the smartest yes. thing you could have done. I, I love that. And I wish more groups would do stuff like that. Exactly. Same. But they're not my choice. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Love the do, you want, do you want me to go next? Go right <laughs> in. Go right in. Yeah. Okay, so this was the easiest out of all the awards. This was by far the easiest one for me, and that's definitely Triple S. Triple S in terms of the okay. amount of music that they put out, the quality of music that they put out was, I think, unlike anything that we've really seen before. Um, and you really expect that when you have that kind of saturation of music and releases that you're going to have some degradation of quality there, but it never happened. It never happened at all. And this is coming from a group that is so green with trainees that really haven't done much at all. And you're seeing that in real time and that growth. It's mm-hmm. a risky, fun kind of project. Um, and they're still adding. They're still not done adding these members. Uh, and I was just really astonished by how taken I was by them. Just tremendous. Yeah, I, for me, it was it definitely came down to Triple S or Kiss of Life. It was like i had been changing them back and forth till today. I want to say, I think, like y'all said, Kiss of Life, uh, the one thing I liked about them was that I feel like they gave, like, uh, a spunkiness to, like, their debut. Like, they weren't, like, just, like, 
they never gave me like inexperienced vibes when they came out. Like they always gave me confidence, sure of themselves, but still like with that new group innocence. And I think that's really hard to mix in. But I do want to give it to Triple S just because I think it's very hard to manage a group of that many members and know what members are going to sound good together, what members are going to coexist well together. I always have a soft spot for like the bigger member groups because I think it's hard to like monitor how much stuff you're putting out that's quality and still keep the fandom interested. And I mm -hmm. think from B-sides, from performance videos and everything, Triple S hasn't Mr. Beat, like I haven't disliked anything that Triple S has dropped, like anything at all. And that's saying a lot because they've dropped like a decent, a, a really, a lot of content to be a new group and a lot of subunits. So I'm gonna give it to Triple S, but like Kiss of Life is like literally like one B for me, like they're right there. Yeah. All that. I guess we can say ours together because it's the same. Yeah, we have the same one. Uh, Three, two, one, rise. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, I don't know. Ever since Siren, I feel like they peaked like an interest in us that we didn't get that fast for a group. Especially yeah. you. Especially me. No, I fell head over heels. So that's very true. That's um, very true. That's very true. But I don't know. They were very interesting from Siren, which put it on streaming platforms, please. Um, yes, but please. then you know <laughs> the follow up with like get a guitar was very good, and then oh yeah. we have memories oh. in between. I love memories, such good like they don't have a lot of music out yet, but the music that they have is really you can feel that it's really their sound, like they're creating their sound as we speak, and it's so cool to see. Um, and then talk sexy was just, uh, I mean, it was that was. <laughs> it was sexy. <laughs> no, I guess for me, it's not necessarily like the, because it took me a while to get into them in the sense that I don't enjoy it when there's a new group and I, there's so little content. So that's why I was like uh, debating, like, do I put them in the list because there's so little and it can still go either way. It's like very open. But I guess for me personally, memories for them to come out with something like that and like the way that the music video went and like, a very nostalgic vibe that they have. It's like, yeah. I don't know, there's something in my heart that was like, okay, I can't really pass on on them. I really have to give it to mm -hmm. them. That, mm. that mm, 90s boy group <laughs> feeling um, mm -hmm. back in the day, that, that whole heartthrob-esque vibe. Yeah, I, I caved. I caved. <laughs> <laughs> the hair swoop. <laughs> yeah rice all right well i think it's appropriate that i go last because of the fact that i haven't been able to check out as many uh groups that i wanted to last year because of like personal life getting in the way and um comments are like tina you are sleeping on triple s you're sleeping on kiss of life and the fact that all y'all said that it's like just a confirmation so I'd say it's between Rise and Baby Monster for me. Okay. Like Baby Monsters batter up. I think it was a lot of like mixing um opinions from what I saw. But I really liked it. I actually like the song now. I, I still oh, love the song. Yeah. I love the song. I love it there. I love the song. Oh, you say he has no choice? Has yeah, no my choice. daughter listens to it like 30 oh. times every day. <laughs> I think you said that. Too. Like, that when it happen. first came out, I was like, it's good. But the more I listened to it and with the dance, I was like, all right, this is like giving yeah. me total YG roots. Mm. And why she keeps so. have so mature face expressions? I don't know. Like she, her facials, the facial she flashes at the camera. I'm just like, you shouldn't be doing that yet. Like it takes experience. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta you gotta That's what elevates that song. That's what elevates that song to me is their their charisma is so insane that yeah. I can't detach the performance with that song because for me it like requires it. And Chiquita yeah. especially is like killing it, man, yeah. killing it. It's insane. It's but uh, it's one of those things where I, I constantly say, Oh, we shouldn't be debuting idols so young and all this, and then sometimes they just have so much talent that I don't know. They'll leave your label and go somewhere else and debut if you don't do it. So, 
Yeah, uh, yeah. You never know. Yeah, I, I, that's how I feel about Baby Monster. Again, I was de- debating between Rise. And the reason why I chose Baby Monster is because, oh, well, one, Rise has already uh, got two votes from Differently Alike. <laughs> so I want to give Baby Monster a chance. But also, you know, I followed their whole documentary thing and just Mm -hmm. seeing what they gave, like, even though I feel like I, from what I saw they did, I feel like they can give more, but with Batter Up, it was like a mix of Treasures mm, and all of Blackpink's, like, finale endings, like that energetic ending, Mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. And the rap set, the rap unit was good. Oh, yeah, yeah. (laughs) I was like, what the hell? <laughs> they're, popping, <laughs> they're popping off. I wasn't expecting. Okay, so the next category is uh, best new artist solo who looks ready. Shoot, I'll go if you ain't nobody look ready. I'll Dang. Go. I think this says she ready. Okay, let's, <laughs> let's go. go. <laughs> um, <laughs> I want to say it because I feel like it might be y'all's too, I would think. And I would think that this counts, but Geo. Okay. Definitely nice. counts. Definitely counts. For sure, she she just blew it out of the water for me. I think she's the well. I can't say any spoilers for any other stuff, but yeah, Geo. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I, I'll just go next because I 100 percent agree with Dana. Uh, if I didn't say Geo, I'm pretty sure uh, my wife oh, yeah. would try me. So like, you have the twice light stick behind you. Yeah, twice and Geo. And, and the album. Geo. And the album. So Geo for me, I, I've heard that album probably, um, I heard Geo more than anything in this house this year or last year. So Yeah, this year too. Yeah, so <laughs> All right, I guess I'll go next. Um all respect to Geo. That was in my contenders as well. Absolutely. But I have to go with V from BTS. What? That was my best. <laughs> That's mine. Because it was like a journey. Because, yeah. you know, that yes. first reaction, I'm like, I don't know what kind of tip he owned. And then he dropped the next video. I'm like, oh, okay, I like that. Then the next one. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on. I'm in this vibe, <laughs> you know. But hey. uh, all, honestly, like, you know, it's just... Just, just flawless execution. Yeah. He he was in his own zone, in his own lane, and I just felt like he executed what he wanted to do. And he, to me, he stood out a lot yeah. last year. So, B. Uh, can I pick? Can I, can yeah, I, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. So for solo, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say BTS. Can I say that? No. No. I can't say BTS. <laughs> 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 Maybe like seven years ago, <laughs> you could have said that. <laughs> You know, okay, okay. So if I have to choose one, because I know there's a lot of solo uh, debuts, right? Um, but I, I gotta go with B as well. I mean, after listening to the uh, album, I definitely had the munchies, and I was enjoying it uh, throughout. The whole- <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then the dog, shout out to my dog. Uh, shout out to my dog. Yeah, shout out to my dog, man. So, <laughs> v. if you don't know why he said the munchies, we 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 crack jokes in that reaction about V being on edibles for that vibe. He was on the video. <laughs> really. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Be, we were just be joking. smooth, man. Be smooth. He been Ooh. smooth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jazzy vibe to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Totally. Oh, you got next lock? Or... Oh yeah. I guess it's how we do it. Like if you if you say anything out loud, <laughs> at the end of you just, just I just well. Yep. Uh. So yeah, I you know, again, I'm a little biased. Pe- uh, people from my channel know Gio is one of my like favorite idols in all the game. Uh, yeah, I just think her, her her performance like there's very few idols that I would say perform hard like more intense than her on a consistent basis. I've never seen a Gio fan cam where she like or a move where she doesn't she's not on point. And she doesn't look like she's enjoying herself. And I feel like that's very hard to do as a professional in that field because everyone has bad days, but you would never know it watching her perform. Um, yeah, her solo stuff was fire. Some of it didn't like capture me all the way right away. And then like later on, like we were talking about earlier, um, it just kind of clicked and I listened to it every day. And then shout out to the English. I think she had a feature with 24K Golden. Mm-hmm. Uh, and like I always that was a very good like collab and I always rate collabs like 
on a harsh scale because I think sometimes in K-pop they just collab oh. just for the name of the yeah. artist yep. and just smack any two names together. I feel like that was an actual really good collab where the artists really complement each other, really vibed in the studio. Um, and yeah, I mean, I think her and Twice have like done a good job of like maturing their sound and their image. Um, which is very hard to do, especially when you've been one of those sweetheart groups for so many, so many years and people have looked at y'all and all the criticism female idols get, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. shout out to Gio. I think she had a great year. Totally agree. Yep. It's for you. <laughs> <laughs> is it my turn now? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> So yeah, it's a really, I'm sorry, Gio. It's a hard one not to choose her. I got her vinyl back there. It's the best. Her album is amazing. But I have a lot of like behind the scenes things that I think go along with this and like an emotional aspect that goes to who I would choose. And that would be Chu. Um, okay. for all of the shit yes. that she had to put up with, all of the turmoil and things that happened and then just puts out an excellent album. An absolutely excellent album that the, the maturation of of a performer and going to solo work, that stuff is really difficult to do. I feel like when your identity for years has been wrapped up in others, a, a whole, and then now to identify just yourself, especially after you, you've gone through so much personal stuff in your own life. And I couldn't have really pictured better music for her. Um, and it must have been so therapeutic to make that the album is just fantastic. And I love it for her. I love the, like the success and everything. I had a video call with her last week. It was a mess. It was a mess. It's lovely. Are you going to share it? No, 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 say anything. You have to no, talk about it. Up. Talk about it. I know. It. <laughs> it, it, it's not, it's not like is anyone reached out. It's literally just your typical video call as if you were to win some event and, and uh, like oh, online okay. minute and I have to talk with her. Um, mm -hmm. and it went terribly. I thought I'd be able to use this camera to talk to her, but it wasn't working. And then I had to go to my phone and I asked her certain questions that she didn't understand. And then her translator totally said the wrong thing, but it was oh, still no. so exciting to, to uh... see her. It was exciting to see her at the very least. And I'm just more so just proud of her of putting out that kind of release. So, uh, I love you, Gio, but I think it has to be true mm. for me. Great yeah, choice. it was very refreshing to me. Mm. It, it, yeah, very refreshing to come out at you. Mm. New best new artist. <sighs> best new artist. This is where we split up. Yeah. You can go first. <laughs> you want me to go first? Yeah. <sighs> so I put both names here. So I totally agree with V. I absolutely love that. But I guess where I decided to take a turn was um I just got into Blackpink recently like i did not know anything before and i did the whole journey with islam and then we went to their concert so i the fact that look at her look at her hand sanitizer <laughs> oh wow <laughs> <laughs> yeah. wow um so yeah and everybody's solo had already come out and so i kind of knew um their personalities and their music and and stuff and the only thing i didn't know was about jisoo um so yeah. i picked jisoo <laughs> so and it was uh, kind of like interesting to see because a lot of fans were telling me like um oh jisoo doesn't want to make music oh jisoo doesn't want to do solo oh jisoo doesn't want to do this or she's the one that jisoo. is more reserved blah, blah blah so when it finally came out i was actually blown away i know we get a lot of like me for some reason people don't think i'm like a blink <laughs> or they say i'm ot3 oh, or something God. so i don't know where it's coming from but i love 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 jisoo and when it came out i was in awe and it's like i don't know what i have with her like anytime she does anything i just burst out in tears there's something so oh. <laughs> so i don't know Oh, I don't want to cry. There's just something about her that just makes me go crazy. And then, like, I know, like, the not everybody was into her um, solo, but I just got it straight away. I just really felt it. I really uh, just, like, everything, like, the cinematography of the video, like, the way that she was singing, it just felt very much her, and I felt like I got to know her a little bit better. 
even though that there wasn't a lot for me to like dive deep into her personality without watching like her vlogs and stuff like that. Mm. Like even mm. if they're in a group, like she's the one that is a little bit more um, reserved in the group. She lets the others shine a lot. So I was like, okay, this is your moment to shine. I'm looking forward to this. It was amazing. I really she's loved shooting. it. And, I, and at the concert as well too, like, yeah. because she always gets this stiff comment. She dances stiff. She's stiff. She's this, she's that. When I was at that concert, she was just, oh, yeah, I loved it. Bag. So for me, best new bag. solo uh -huh. artist, Jisoo. End of story. <laughs> Good choice. Good choice. Jisoo is so wholesome. She's very wholesome. Yeah, You're right. I think that's what that's what does it for me. Jisoo always feels so very grounded to me, and yes. that like even though they're superstars, Blackpink, it's she always puts on a face of like the you know the every person, and I yes. love that. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Yeah, no, it, I agree with that. It's definitely. I think in a group, she's my bias. Even though I've said it before, like I think they're an OT four situation. OT four don't come for me. Um, <laughs> but like, <laughs> it's like when they interact with each other, people, a lot of people thought it would be Lisa because of like how people think my personality is. But something about Jisoo is like, you know, that person, that, that quiet person that everything that they say is funny. I think mm. like Jisoo is like one of those, like any show they've gone on or something like that. Mm. She's so reserved that whenever she chooses to have her spotlight, it's always like at a perfect yep. moment or something mm -hmm. like that Timing or in their amazing. vlogs yeah in the, in the vlog she's like savage she's like the most savage of all of them and you wouldn't expect yeah. that at all like yeah. that type of thing mm -hmm. so i agree just to say this quickly my bias is jenny before before people are like oh yeah obviously your bias is no, no, my bias is jenny <laughs> and i love all of them somebody already hit enter on that comment before you cleaned it up somebody hit enter on that comment already uh-huh here she likes flower over you and me oh. <laughs> i know right <laughs> at this point in the video there are people there are people deleting their uh paragraphs, paragraphs. Uh -huh. <laughs> slowly deleting okay then i think it's my turn yeah i think uh my best new artist solo is actually one that's been mentioned before it is also V. <laughs> I thought his uh, mini was perfect. It was so authentic to him and his personality and his whole vibe. Um, I loved how, um, how do you say, involved he was mm. in producing the songs and the music videos. I love how we got a visual album. Like we got a music video for every single song. I loved just the entire vibe. And I don't know, it's it's such a special album to me that it's like, I can listen to it in any, like, you know, you need a vibe or a mood for some songs or certain albums, but for this one, it just fits everything. everything. Like, it's 100%. it was snowing over here, I was listening to it. I'm driving in the car, I'm listening to it. I'm working and I'm putting it on, like, in the back, like, while I'm doing stuff. It is such a versatile album with, like, five songs, which is crazy to me because it's, yep. you know, it's, it's considered like a mini like it's not that much but it's such a good album that it totally makes up for anything that anyone has said about it mm -hmm. and like i said just like he, him the beauty of all the music videos his voice him being able to showcase his voice properly because you know when you're in a group especially when you're in a group that's been that's really popular and a lot of music yeah. gets produced for you and like you have to sing in a certain way. You have to do this. You have to do that. It was very, as a Taehyung biased, it was very freeing to finally just hear him be himself and show his side. And like, especially like with Rainy Days, I feel like we really got a, a like just a side inside of that yeah. man's soul. And it was so good to see. Mm -hmm. Like, so definitely for me, it has to be V. That's new solo. And what you mentioned about like the interconnectedness of those because I, I told you guys before we started recording that I've really been sleeping on a lot of those BTS solos. Mm -hmm. And I've just recently started getting to them in like the last two weeks. That includes yeah. all of v, V's stuff. Mm -hmm. And I had mentioned that it's just like, you can't listen to one of those songs by themselves. No. Every, no. The album is so cohesive. Yeah. Yeah. And you just want to go through everything, everything at once kind of thing. And yeah. I love that. Mm -hmm. There's such a, such a great vision there. 
um, that I told such, you. Yes. And it's, yeah, it's so, very storytelling because yes. when I got to these stuff, I I was late to it. So I did like a little marathon and I did it in the order that it was released. And although I think I should have done it through like the album list order, but even watching it through the music video, it felt very connected, like cohesive. Yeah. So it yeah. felt like one big project and it was something mm-hmm. that I just enjoyed watching. Mm-hmm. Even with like his album, like we the got pa- the album. The, the... It's literally like it's a uh, like you order something online and it's like your lover like I don't know put a lot of stuff, stuff in, in there. together. Yeah, it's like a there's like a person. Like, there's like a letter. There's pictures. There's everything. They're like a new list. It's so, so cute. Yeah, it's very yeah. Cute. It's like little intricate details. Yeah. It's so yeah. adorable. If you weren't delusional before, you'll get delusional after. Like, it's so... That album was crazy. <laughs> damn, I haven't done V. Okay, yeah, I gotta go do V's. Damn there. Yeah, yes. 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 You'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy it. Mm-hmm. All right. So the next category is best boy group of 2023. Uh, Prince, Ooh, what you got? I gotta go with probably who I chose the previous year and maybe the year before that, and it's my dudes in ATs. I mean, they just don't stop killing it. They simply don't let their foot off the gas, yeah. whether it be live performances, their albums. I thought that the fr- again, their album naming scheme. Wait, who'd you say? I'm sorry. ATs, ATs. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Their album naming scheme is so damn confusing. Like the world part, whatever the first one was this year, <laughs> whatever the first album they put out with, with Bouncy, that album is so damn good. Um, I thought it just reached a new level for them. Uh, and they've just really been topping themselves each time, just when you think that they've kind of reached a height. And this is coming from, you know, KQ, who didn't have any cachet really in the industry necessarily. And they've really, you know, pulled themselves up and it's one of those situations to where like, I can't foresee this getting better. And it just consistently does. I happen to somehow each year see them. Like I saw them at KCON last year, KCON this year, and they put on the most insane. They, they capture the entire room when they're on the stage and it's just uh, it's a special thing. So yeah, they've got to be my choice. I'm jealous. I, I need to see ATs in concert. They're so they're incredible. Crazy. They're so they're crazy. good. Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, I just copy off of Prince. I'll just copy and paste everything he said. Uh, ATs is my pick 100%. And uh, all I have to say, listen to them two albums that came out last year. And if you don't like them, fight me. Okay. Uh, that's all I got. <laughs> it's, it's hard to explain anything else. I feel like if I don't say ATs, Jung Ho will be staring at me. Oh, yeah. You don't want so, that. So <laughs> well, I have to say it because they everybody. Every time they drop, they just, hey, what's up? Forgot about me, you know? <laughs> and, <Nice. laughs> and they just always on point. So, yeah, AT. And I'm going to go with XO. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, no piggyback. I'm jumping off the piggyback, man. <laughs> I'm going with XO, man. Like, a uh, big fan of the group, especially early on. We was kind of getting into the scene. And just to see them, you know, drop amazing projects. Big fan. So, XO is my, uh, it's my group. Okay. Nice. Yeah, it's usually straight kids, nice, but nice. I like how you try to throw that. Like, I know, right? In there. I, I was gonna say that. <laughs> I don't know. It was a fight. Okay, good. So I'll send my piggyback off. If I could say stray tees, I'll say stray tees. Mm-hmm. I like that. Straight tees. Straight tees. <laughs> but if I could, if I had to choose, I would say stray kids because. S class and la 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 was just crazy back to back. I like so that straight team that. because it was, that was a fight for straight. me. Straight. Straight. Oh. Yeah. yeah, same because bouncy was like you know ats, but just straight kids a little <laughs> bit more, <laughs> a little bit. It's it was a shout out from like... Bang Chan, wasn't it? <laughs> That's true. Uh, that will ever, forever be in my heart. I remember waking oh, up and it. thinking it was still a dream because I was reading it like half asleep. So I woke up like, wait, so was it real? She's in the pocket of big stray kids right now. Uh, <laughs> and also with stray kids, I have to say, like I've always thought they were great dancers, but like in the in the beginning, they had some that were more performative. Mm. Versus now, I feel like they're very matched with S class, and then going right to La La La, their energies match. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't like that, like when I first discovered them on God's Menu. So, Street Kids. Which I got differently, like 
<laughs> we have the same one. No, we no, don't. We don't. We don't, we don't have okay. the same. I think I'll we go. veer off. <laughs> oh. Okay. I'll, I'll go crazy. first. I'll go yeah. first. Uh, my best boy group this year uh, has to be 17. Just I because it, yeah. they have been on this like this train they just keep going and they are not stopping like especially since like i don't know the success that they've been having recently yeah even, like, the, i love that for them everything that's been going on and like a boost soon like all everything, everything that happened in literally. 2023 is just i had to go for 17. they're just so 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 good they're releasing so much content they're like the music videos that we've gotten like i think super was like one of the whoa super, super. and fighting were like two of the most popular songs in like i don't know worldwide k-pop fans like everybody everybody knew super and it was such a cool like era when everyone was doing the challenges and everyone was like the what was it the dragon ball z reference and everyone was like mm-hmm. so cool so super i have to go was so with damn good like the super beginning of the so, chorus it was yeah it's so swaggy like the whole sway 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 yep. i was like holy shit exactly. and they're yeah. and just like the production value like what were they like 200 dancers or something everything oh, hmm. of yeah. course i was gonna say i zoom who's he do thing legend that you are like always Literally. always always, <laughs> always making sure that 17, Let's go, 17 comes back with these amazing hits so we do have mm-hmm. to give a shout out to, to i was gonna say i zoom again whoa <laughs> woozy, 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 woozy! Big shout out to woozy. That performance goes crazy too. The it always just captivates me. The lighting of the hotel in the background and how it yes. matches the performance. And like is when it, how it like. Art. Oh, I know. <laughs> Insane. And yeah. I went to like see their um concert, but like they did like a cinema thing because they don't come to Europe. Hype. <laughs> but they did like a worldwide viewing in like cinemas worldwide, and I went and. I swear when Super came on, the chills that I felt, and I wasn't even there. Like, I was just sitting in my in my seat, like, looking at it. <laughs> oh, my God. That intro live goes crazy. Like, the hype, the crowd, you could hear everyone. Even, like, the little theater that I was in. Like, everyone was hyped. It was so nice. That's dope. Shout out to my bias, the eight, because my boy was dancing with one arm. Oh, yeah, came through in the second chorus. Yes. Yeah, they gave him, yes. they gave yeah, him I had no idea. They gave cool. him eight Whoa. seconds, a mullet, and a one arm. <laughs> yeah, <it was laughs> <mullet. laughs> he looked That's so good in that mullet. So good. No, he did That's that. That's my boy right there. Shout out to eight. Ming Hao. Oh, wow. Wow. <sighs> yeah, for me, honestly, it was a tough one because honestly, I also wanted to put 17 in there but i wouldn't be true to myself because i put the group in there that was the number one listen for my entire 2023 it was like the top three spots actually um and i have <laughs> to give it to nct 127 um yeah. their albums that they yeah. the repackage and then the last one that they did then also the units so i was like you know what since i love nct doji jong as well let me mm-hmm. pick NCT 127 because it's like a little the baby group of NCT 127. <laughs> so uh, I don't even know where to start explaining why it's so good. I think <laughs> we're all <laughs> oh, <there> we go. <laughs> oh my god. Let's start there. But like <laughs> putting the visuals aside and the way that they act on stage aside, vocally they're insane like i don't know and it's like every single member and it's crazy because sometimes i feel so overwhelmed when i'm listening to their music like i can't keep my headphones on i'm like oh what are you you doing what are you singing what are these vocals and it's like so versatile like every single member like gives me something else in a different song and i'm just like i was like why did i what do you mean 2023 is the year that i get into nct and especially nct 127 and it's just like, yeah, they've dominated my entire year. It's it's crazy, which is, I don't know, it's, it's just nice. <laughs> <laughs> good choice. It's so good. One, two, seven so is my good. favorite. Weird reason. Like, I lot. understand you completely. <laughs> uh, okay. So before I answer, I do want to give love to, like, uh, I guess if I pick, like, overall groups, it would be like 
in Hypen slash TXT because originally I was not into either of them a lot for real. I had like certain songs that I like, but I feel like they both came back in 2023 with like songs that I really, really liked. And that solidified like, oh, okay, they have they have the range for me. You know what I mean? Like sometimes like in K-pop, everyone's talented, everyone's does their thing, but some groups just aren't for certain people. Um, and I didn't know at that point if those two groups were that for me. And they put that to rest um, this year. So I definitely wanted to like for their fandoms, like show them that love because like they really, those, both of those groups been going hard for me. But I think the one group, if I mean, it's a subunit, so that's why I kind of wanted to say that and then say this group, but it's Doje Jung. Um, <clears throat> I just think that nobody, that's one of the best albums I yes. think I've heard. And if you could take five, five song and up albums from anybody, I think that's one of the best albums I've heard since I've gotten into K-pop, period. Mm -hmm. And I think you'll be hard pressed to find three songs, a trio of songs on the same album. Uh, Can We Go Back, Kiss, and Perfume. <sighs> a trio of songs from anybody that mm -hmm. will rival that from performance, you know, and just vibe um, and cohesiveness. And then like, uh, yeah, I was Jay Young. I was kind of Jay Young crazy with Forever Only last year. That was one of my <laughs> top songs. Same. Um, he did. He did his thing. But I think both Do Young and Jung Woo uh, really opened my eyes because I think I slept on both of them uh, just from a like performance and vibe standpoint. Especially Jung Woo. Jung Woo has a lot of a lot of soul. A lot of soul, I didn't know. Like, I, mm -hmm. I just, I'm in the reaction, literally telling the, the subs, like, I'm sorry, I did not know. I was not familiar with his game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, nah, NCT Doje Jung, like, they, that was, I, I, like, really sincerely hope I'm making my pitch that we get, like, at least two more albums from them yes. as a trio. Mm -hmm. That was amazing. Yes, please. <laughs> please. Can I, can I just, Go ahead. like, I didn't know that we were allowed to put units in here. So can I change my answer to NCT Doja Jung? Because that's why. Because I was like, okay. That's why I picked NCT 127. Because like, you know, Doja Jung is like part of NCT 127. But like, yeah. if I if we're allowed to do units, then it's Doja Jung for real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. That's why. Yeah, I just, like I said, that's why I gave that love to in hyping in TXT. Because like, in my mind, they've come a long way from like my right. preference of music. So like that takes a lot to really convert somebody that has heard you before. Yeah. To be like, oh, I'm a fan of these groups now. Yeah. Like, not just their talent, but like I think their music making is 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 my standard now. Like I really, really like their style. But like if I chose like literally just any group of idols that released in the past year, it's Doje John hands down. Okay, uh, next category is uh, best girl group, twenty twenty three. Ace, I see you looking at me, man. What you got? Tough, tough, tough. Well, actually, it was easy for me, but go ahead. I mean, yeah, it was pretty easy for me. Um, I'm going with new Hello. jeans. Oh, suck. Um, and it's just because that new jeans just uh, has just found the 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 formula to captivate their audience so so well, and keep their attention no pun intended no pun intended <laughs> um but um for real new jeans just has such a spark to them that i feel like a lot of people really see them as like a really phenomenal group a phenomenal group of friends and just you know just infectious so i felt like they've radiated that all year just throughout everything that they have done and to me they've been the best so yeah new jeans Oh, I mean, I could follow that up. Uh, my pick was New Jeans. To me, there was only two options. I'm mm -hmm. not going to say the other option because... I know the other option. Yeah, but there was only two options uh, for me, and the option was New Jeans. Uh, my evidence, All I'm. this is all I'm going to say. Evidence, Lollapalooza. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you watch the yes. Lollapalooza. Mm -hmm. It's, it's kind of hard to deny. I've never seen a group that everybody looks like Geo having fun on stage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> 
Like some people just don't necessarily seem like the happiest to be there, but new jeans, they always seem like they're super enjoying. And yeah. and Hani's joy is infectious. I enjoy everything that they do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, and I, I definitely real quick, I'm from Chicago. I'm my bad. I am in a. That's in a not room, all good. I'm from <laughs> Chicago, but I, I so Lollapalooza is in Chicago for anybody who doesn't know. Um, and yeah. like I work like downtown. I work in fashion, but I work downtown. You can literally walk and get to like the venues and stuff like that from where I work. There were, there were, I've never seen so many people, different like type of people that like did not care for the rest of the, no offense to anyone else that was on the lineup. People that were coming in and they had like Danielle t-shirts on, Minji t-shirts on. Like it was like, I'm talking about like groups of people. Yeah. All like literally all comers, and they were all just like, "Oh yeah, I'm just here for new-. people that travel." Like, "Oh, I'm just here for new jeans." And oh, they give back. me goosebumps. That's crazy. <laughs> like, they were literally like, "Lala was lit." Like, it was it was the traffic downtown and the amount of people that were like so amped to see them, and then that were still there the next day after they performed, and were like talking about how good they were. All I heard like firsthand was like amazing things from people. Um, so yeah, just to piggyback on the Lala comment, like they, they, people were saying they were like, well, higher than advertised. Like, oh yeah. 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 I was going to say that I definitely need to see that Lollapalooza performance. Uh, cause I remember the last time that we all got together was right after that happened. And right before we recorded, you were, you guys were hyping that up and I saw their, <laughs> their Mellon Music Award performance and I thought it was so disappointing to no fault of their own. The way it was just filmed and it was, I don't know what it was, but it just, they didn't handle it right. Like the Mm -hmm. production side of it. So I really, really need to see that for just a bit more hype levels and just free spiritedness on the stage. And that seems like the thing to check out. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, And I'm going to, I'm going to throw some pockets on that. Um, I'm, I'm picking new jeans as well. Um, just for all the same reasons. I just got what you said. I'm Sorry. putting some pockets. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it is dude, man. <laughs> um, but I'm going for new jeans for all the same reasons, man. Like I've been bumping that stuff nonstop as well. They got the sound right now, in my opinion, um, and they're really ushering a, a new wave. So shout out. I'll go next. Because <laughs> <laughs> I gotta scream at out loud and proud. XG. Yeah, like they like they're not only way within my preference, but they keep killing it with each release they did, yes. and they're just getting started. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. So, I need their world tour details like right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 So you know we're gonna get this because I, I need know. to prepare. I feel like um, it's gonna like, we're gonna struggle for tickets. Yes, I'm scared. I'm scared. Next year, new yeah. jeans are like this with me. So yes. I'll just stop trying, trying to cave to the fandom. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> just saying. They're, they're literally stop trying to get points with fighting. both fandoms. And they're fighting. <laughs> yeah, I just, oh, uh, I put like, I made like a top five <laughs> because <laughs> I literally could not. But, I'll tell you. Oof, but I'm not the feeling. XG ski. I really love XG. Like I really they for me really like the feelings that you got from like they never missed. Mm. The way that they brought out all of their songs um was just immaculate. The production always. Then especially with the um, was it It's Life or no the um, uh First Take? First Take? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. Crazy. Yep, that yep. was crazy and we haven't even gotten into the documentary and stuff so this is just because i don't oh. really like to know a lot about a group before i really it's great it's great go into yeah. their like music i really want to make sure that i'm like okay i like the music so now i can learn more about them mm-hmm. so music the, i don't know like how do they do that like come back after oh oh Oh, oh, no. oh no! The XG aunties got to them. <laughs> oh. Guess we gotta wait for them to connect back. Oh. They really did go to space. <laughs> oh, 
There they go. <laughs> oh, man. <Wow>. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying y'all really did go to space with XD. <laughs> French, you're gonna. Because I was like, why are they not moving? I was looking at. You everyone. were looking. I was, like, I was like, literally in my ex. XG! I was like, I see nobody's moving. I'm not hearing any feedback anymore. What's going on? Uh, I like XG. XG is a girl group for me. <laughs> and there's been amazing girl groups and they've been killing it this year because I always tell men need to step their pussies up for real. Like, <laughs> y'all, y'all need to put in the work. Uh, put in the work because the girls been killing it for real. <sighs> Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I say that every year, every year that I make my best of list, I'm like, wow, there are so many girl groups here, but I'm like, you know what? Maybe it's just because they've been killing it the last two years. They, like honestly, they've really they been have. killing it. They really have. Honestly, they, they have. Really, really, girl groups really, really girls on top. I don't even know, like man. the girl groups that haven't been getting a lot of attention. Have I like, swear. Like I feel bad for them. Like that they're just going up against such popularity because, like, across the board, you could take like fifty girl groups, and I don't know if you can go that far with boy group. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I don't know if you can go that far with like boy groups right now. So yeah, actually, <laughs> okay. Listen, this was this was very hard. <laughs> this was very, 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 very hard. I just want to say, shout out XG, shout out New Jeans. They were definitely my top three. I second everything that everyone said about XG and um, New Jeans. <laughs> I've been listening to New Jeans's album. I've been listening to XG's album like on repeat. It's so, 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 so good. Uh, like everything about them, the music videos, everything that came from both groups was amazing. It was amazing, amazing, amazing. But my best girl group title goes to Dreamcatcher. Yeah. Because I don't know, I felt like 2023 was a new year for them. Like yes. 2023 was really, really something different. Something shifted in the air. Like I think it maybe like even after the first win, I know that it, was it. It was not this year. 2022. But 2022. I don't, whatever it was, something shifted, and like 2023, they just took that year by the neck, and they said, you know what, we're gonna release the best minis that you're ever gonna hear. Mm. We're gonna mm -hmm. make you cry with our music. Yes. But the next mm -hmm. thing you're gonna be head banging, and then you're gonna be shaking some ass like in one hour. <laughs> I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm here for it. Like, <laughs> take me with you. Why is the why is the Wi-Fi doing this again? Anyway, I don't know. And then OOTD, like the villain album came out and I was just like, and then I saw Shatter's Shatter perform, like the, the clip, the performance clip. And Guyon was on the floor. Like the emotions that Dreamcatcher put me through this year was insane. Like I felt and they're going to keep putting them. you through it. And they're going to keep, keep like we're going to see them. I'm yeah. so excited. So excited. Hey, they're coming hey, to tour hey, here in Europe. Up. So we are so excited. Like, I feel like I had to give it to Dreamcatcher. Yeah. They just made my year so much better in so many aspects. So, oh. DC, see, Dreamcatcher was two for me. Like, I was struggling. Love Dreamcatcher. <laughs> bon Voyage. Bon, bon, bon Voyage felt bon like bon the start of a new era, too, for them. Bon yes. Was, oh, my God. Like, I know yes. that was the end yes. of the apocalypse era uh, thing. Yep. But mm -hmm. it, was a, it was something new. It was like, the end of their past selves. It yeah. feels like, oh, we're going to... We're it was yeah woo. rebirth like oh my mm -hmm. I love the emotions reaction. I can't yeah y'all losing your mind I oh, love that reaction so much to all the freeze frames <laughs> yes. and drink that stuff no I the feels the were reaction. too much and I still I can't oh, the song is so beautiful I can't even I can't Suez listen to it. high note and then going into yeah. Xi'an oh, insanity like, no. mm -hmm. so that still brings me to tears for real no for real for real all the emotions with them so yeah yeah Prince Locke, because I, I mean Locke uh, was talking, but I don't know if he was confirming that new jeans was his choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he was just commenting. All right, I'll go. I'll, yeah. just commenting. I'll, I'll, I'll skirt the lines again. I'll also do it to where I was like, "Wow, this is really tough," because I could not really picture a better year than I've has had. It's oh, just yeah. been hit after hit, and all the pre-releases they've had are just so immaculate. But I do again have to give it to Triple S, just for the fact that. 
from where you come from of this very special project and to have like the level of quality that they've had is just so insane and that yeah. they're so damn likable too as artists mm -hmm. themselves incredibly incredibly likable i was supposed to see them in chicago mm -hmm. um i was traveling to chicago for a bachelor party and it happened to be the same day that i arrived and i'm like that is sick and then <laughs> they canceled the chicago perform the chicago concert a day and a half two days before mm -hmm. and i was like that is the worst so yeah. i didn't get to see them but uh they are they are a special group and if i had to say like who makes the kind of music the production that i lean towards or that i like a lot of synth pop and like trancey elements drum and bass they do that and they kill it their production team is just top tier and really fits in alongside my tastes so it's one of those things where like i'm looking at one group like i've and i'm like how can i not choose them but then i look at triple s and like everything they've done is just so good it's I just have to choose them again. So yeah, Triple S is my and choice. I, I'm really steep on Triple S then. They're so, so good. They're uh, so I mean, maybe they'll be my next marathon checkout. Them and Kiss of Life. And right. um Boy Next Door and Zero Base One. I'm always being told oh, about yeah. them too. Zero Zero Base One. So I have not been able to, but I'll change that ASAP. But I agree about Ive. Like, you know, mm -hmm. Ive, I felt that they had a certain kind of uh I guess genre. And then when they came out with Off the Record and Batty, I was like whoa like mm -hmm. there, i feel a shift there so mm -hmm. okay so yeah this was tough this is probably one of the toughest ones that i like was literally typing back and forth at when we were setting up um i did pick though i do want to say shout out to espa though because they matured their sound again Everybody um, got to keep the all the feds you got to, to man you got to give them their due got to because nah, i feel bad hard. because I feel okay. bad because like for them, like it's just like with the like I always felt like they could be one of my top groups that could give me like a album of no skips and like stuff that's like and and they like thirst like thirsty that they gave. That was like one of my favorite songs of the year. Like I just feel like they really elevated their style and they took some risk. I think whenever they're out of that virtual world thing and they and it's just like straight to the point. Yes. That's my favorite with them. Even okay. when they made like the dreams come true and stuff like that's my best. I think Espa's at their best with that. Um, and I did meet Karina and Giselle in person in winter, so I guess <laughs> I that, that. I was like, like, oh what a beautiful uh, picture. Damn. Yeah, that, so I don't. Cool. People, people, they were clowning me at work. They're like, "You never smile." I was like, <laughs> and, and, "Until you smile them." I'm like, I'm like, duh, it's Espa. What's you? <laughs> <laughs> like what um but uh i think for me um i love Dreamcatcher with the passion first concert ever that i went to and it was amazing um <laughs> for me it was it was it was dream catcher new jeans and and xg that was the last like lineup for me but i gotta give it to xg just because i think i kind of I gave my props to New Jeans and Dreamcatcher separately on like other talks that we had and everything like that. I feel like I gave them their moment. Um, but with XG, I just think one, I think I'm, I'm a big documentary person. And I think like that really ties me to people like the content. Um, when you really see like how hard people work behind the scenes, why I love the recording behinds and stuff like that. So I'm, I was watching, I've been watching the documentary. I haven't finished it, but I've been watching it. I think that definitely played a part in my sentimental feelings towards them. Um, and uh, yeah, I just think that they haven't, even the stuff that I personally haven't necessarily liked, um, it maybe it's like one or two releases that they did last year. I see the vision. Like I see why they did what they did and why they, um, like released it, why they wanted to express that. Um, and they're showing like a lot of versatility. I don't think there's a song they can't make. Um, and I think there's very few groups that can say that out loud. Like there's very few groups that can, that you can say a genre and they can check off every box. And I think XG can check off every single box that you want. Um, they're just special. I think they're going to be one of the biggest groups just in music and 
the next year or so. I think it's inevitable. You know, barring, knock on wood, barring anything unforeseeable, I think they're going to be one of the biggest groups just in music, not just mm-hmm. the pop scene or K-pop or X-pop or J-pop, whatever you want to call it. I just think they're just, you know, you know, some athletes you just look at and they're positionless. They're just a talent. I just think XG yeah. is just talent. Like, they're just mm-hmm. talent. You can't put them in a box. So. We're calling it intangibles. They've got, yeah. they've got that special the special sauce. <laughs> yep. mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you, yep. can't, you can't really teach what they have, even though they went through training and all that. Like, they've got special individuals in that group. So well, they trained for a long time before debuting. Yeah. Yeah. Man, what blood, sweat, and tears is mm-hmm. yeah. the half of it. Like that's mm-hmm. man. That's the thing. I'm with you on the documentary side of that. Gets me so close with the group. And XG is someone that like I've checked out their stuff, but I haven't fully jumped on board with everything. I mean, there's songs that I adore, like Left Right. Oh my God. Um, that really hit that nineties R and B kind of feel. But yeah, cool. I need to check out that documentary because Equally, like when I'm looking at the, like the Le Seraphim documentary and things like that, it gets you just really in your in your feels and the sentimentality of falling into a group that I think that that would do a lot of heavy lifting for me. Yeah. Yeah. One That's thing great. I want to say, too, before I stop is that, like, I think uh, I don't know who said it. I think it was definitely a like one of y'all said um, that they show love to who came before them. And I think that that's the biggest thing. That's what made me such a BTS fan before is because you can tell that they're historians of music, not just first gen, second gen, third gen K-pop artists, but also, you know, you got V and these guys talking about D'Angelo and Maxwell, you know, all of these different artists and that type of stuff for me, like I'm, I'm big on like history of like knowing who came before you, not even necessarily being a fan. And like just some of the names that XG blurts out, I'm like, what? these people I know don't even listen to. Like, <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like they're, they're, yeah. naming, exactly. like, they're, they're not naming like, you know, 10 years ago stuff. They're naming like 30 years ago, 40. They weren't even alive when some of this music. So you know they really um their taste level, you can see it in that's why I think they're gonna be so successful because it's organic. They're mm-hmm. not, yeah, they're it's, not it's faking genuine it. respect. It's not fake. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like you can, you can see each member, you can see their aesthetic in the person or group that they talk about. Like Kokona loves Lauren Hill. You can see the vibe. Like you can just see different things in each one of them. Um, and so, yeah, that's like one of the main things for me is like when artists really have that yeah. like know of like, the history and who and want to be honest about who's supporting them and I mean uh, like who influenced them and stuff like that. That was like a yep. big thing for me with XG. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Okay. Next okay. category. I think it's only right we start out with Dana because uh, you know, Dan. <laughs> hey. uh, I'm pretty cool. sure y'all may not, especially y'all TRC wouldn't be surprised, but it's Shun for me. Oh, oh. damn. Oh. Okay. Oh. Mm-hmm. Like, it was between Fire. Shung and standing next to you, but because Ooh, I uh, respect both choreographers, but mm-hmm. Bailey Salk did something different with Shung, and Taeyeon performed the hell out of that. <laughs> like, right when he started his solo part, I was like, whoa. I love your reaction for that, too. <laughs> oh I tried to not rewatch my reactions, but I did have to see like how stupid I was. <laughs> that was stupid. Okay, I guess I can go next. Uh, I picked uh, uh, ATs Bouncy. Okay. Uh, I, I love. Ooh, I they were up that. there for me too. I love when they get in the train and they do the walk. Like the choreography that, for that is really dope. And every time we watch uh, other dancers do the choreography, it makes us realize how difficult it is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. we watched a couple of other people do the choreography and we're like, nah, that's not it. No. But we understood like, okay, ATs just does stuff differently. And I don't know who does their choreography, but shout out to that. Bouncy is crazy. I love Bouncy. Now, ATs, like, um, they're like, uh, again, I, I don't like to use the word best because it's subjective, but ATs train in California and I think that's enough. Like people who dance, you know what I mean when I say that. <laughs> that's all I had to say. That's There's a specific type of uh, training there. 
Mm-hmm. Damn. That California training, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's like, I was saying to my cousin, like, when you take class over there, everyone's thirst for performance is infectious. Oh, oh, okay, so, that makes sense. That trains you. That yeah, makes yeah. so much sense. No, because they mm. go crazy. Yeah, they go crazy. Hard. Eighties. <laughs> we just kind of like decided, like, okay, we need to get on the eighties. Yesterday. Train. Yesterday. <laughs> Saw yeah. all the subunit um, oh, videos. Yeah. Damn. Oh. What? Oh, no. yeah. oh. That it's you? Oh my goodness oh my gracious. Oh my buddy, I just no 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 break a dog. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, right when your son started with like doing this that- on his arm, I was like, all right, we're serious. Yes. We're serious. <laughs> You're so was, right. It was about never your that serious, oh but your son God. made it serious. Your like- son really said, you know what? Pay attention. Yeah, right he was now. like baby girl time, nice angle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it is crazy. But yeah, nevertheless, I picked 17 super. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just really like their choreography. No, that's especially when they um, that that's one performance uh, on the music show where they wear like the traditional clothing. Oh, that yeah. is crazy! Seeing all the movement at once, like so, the synchronization is insanity actual mm. insanity and just like i think also it's just like movement that we don't necessarily see often mm-hmm. in k-pop choreography so i really appreciated seeing something different because sometimes you recognize certain moves that you've already seen mm-hmm. in other choreography before yeah. so i really enjoyed that and uh super it was very very good super was amazing um but my pick for my favorite choreography for a single song is JK standing next to you? <laughs> mm. Because oh, I mean, that's that dance break is insane. Like, I wish I could dance, man. <laughs> oh my god! Like, Tina, you need to teach me, please. I actually, <laughs> recently, <laughs> last week, learned standing next to you with my cousin. Oh mm. my god, that dance break alone, like just the what's that? Like thirty seconds of just the ending of him, like like oh my. Actually, God. a lot of uh, Michael Jackson nods in that yeah. choreography. I didn't realize until I learned it. Yeah, I was like, "Holy shit!" I'm grabbing my crotch. I'm doing it like this. <laughs> so, yep. Oh, it's so iconic. It's so 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 iconic. And JK just like he's an amazing dancer, and mm-hmm. just the way that he delivers that song on stage is insane. It's so good. I had to go. I had to go with standing next to you. Yep. Good choice. Thank you. Well. There, there was a lot of choreos this year that I could have chosen, but I'm just a mess over this one. Oh. <laughs> I'm a mess, 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 mess. I'm a mess. Seraphim. Solid. He's so like his true. Two years wife had us in the chokehold when we first no, saw it. No, you're so right. Big arms. Woo! <laughs> I mean, so right. so right. TikTok I, in a chokehold. Like, good God. Like, from the moment we were just like, yeah, I got this new song, Eve, Psyche, and the Bluebeard's Wife. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I had already heard it. I know, oh, yeah, I yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. but it was just like, what Ooh. to expect from this? Ooh. And then when they start, they start on a honey. Yeah. And oh just, just destroy. Yeah. So, that, that really, I've come back to that many of times this year. Mm-hmm. And I just get the same feeling every single time. And it's just something about that choreo and just how they just nailed it. Yeah. 100% from beginning to end. Mm-hmm. Single best choreo for me this year. Good stuff. No, you're so right. You're, you're so, right. so, so, so. If it wasn't for JK, I, same. Like, Le Seraphim, they know they no, did it's true. It's that. True. Like, it's true. Every single move. You're so right. The puppet thingy, like when they like, I don't know, they're standing in a line and Chewon is like, oh my God. And just the way that they can, they. Do you want to change your power. suggestion? No, no, no. It's really quick and powerful. <laughs> it, it takes the a power, lot to like, yeah, the power, know, hit like, the execution like that. Mm. It doesn't look weird. It doesn't look awkward. It doesn't look crazy. It looks so good. Like. Mm. That part that you mentioned of it is my favorite too. The lineup, the lineup where then they split outward is just so smooth and just so seamless. I know. Uh, Yeah, that was one of my favorites too. Wasn't my favorite though. 
<laughs> what is your favorite? Oh wait, yeah, did what? did everyone from TRC finish? I wanted. Oh. To, I don't know. If... Oh, oh, oh look, hey, hey, the car, oh, shoom, shoom, man. <laughs> man. Keep it simple, man. You know. I... <laughs> <laughs> I know all the moves. <laughs> no power steering. <laughs> so, yeah. I know. I actually want to add on to Shun because I forgot to mention Lisa. She killed her part. And yeah. when she and Taeyang did it together, she did the drive part. I was like, how am I still sitting? Like, how am I not like fainted, not like out of the frame? Yeah. Oh my God. What a collaboration. Are we gone? Are we here? Yeah, you can you're still here. Okay. <laughs> oh, everybody just say it. <laughs> Go ahead, friend. <laughs> All right. Uh... <laughs> he just kept chirping. <laughs> so for me, um, Oh, man, between like Super and then La Seraphim there, I, I, I had to go kind of out of the box with this one and choose an intro track. Okay. And to give them my flowers, uh, because this is uh, Purple Kisses Save Me. Oh, um, God, that right. performance is so good. good. So good. Yes. When they when they drop low with their legs and Chain rises to the sky with her hand, Ide is just cutting it up. Their ending performance laying on the ground, making their little lips as they always do in the formation. Absolutely excellent. Like that, they always have killer intro performances to their albums. They've done it every time, but this was their best. I thankfully got to see them live a, uh, a couple months ago and see them perform this. And it was just as incredible as I expected. Um, they're so underrated in so many so ways. Underrated, yeah. That dance, not only vocals, but dance is one of those two, but also concepts. The fact that they brought that kind of engrossing, a little evil and horror style in their dance too. Mm. It's just so excellent. Right. So yeah, uh, Purple Kisses Save Me is my choice. Did you go um, like? Um, yeah. He's, he's nah, thinking about it. I'm going to say, yeah, because it's like, when you, when you go last, it's like, damn, I forgot about that one. I forgot about that one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, am I sure that this is my final answer? Um, So, yeah, it was tough, especially with Super uh, and the Seraphim, but mine was NCT 127 Fact Check. Mm. Oh, because of the sheer that like four step footwork right there and like the fact that the one thing I like about NCT 127 and this is what really early on like one of the main songs that got me into K-pop was EXO Tempo and one of the things that drew me to them and like got seven where like every member has their own style of dancing. I think mm. a lot, a lot of times in K-pop, they're so focused on group synergy, which is dope. But like when you can like have your own style amongst members and still everyone be on point, I think is like even harder to do than like sync. It's like equally harder to do than have a group like sync up. They're both hard to do. And I think one, two, seven, like everyone can dance in their own way. Like some people are more precise with the choreography. Some people are more lax with the choreography. You've got um, Taeyong who I, I always say a lot of time, he dances like a zombie. Like he's kind of <laughs> just like, like no one dances like him. Then you got like someone like Jayon who's more smoother. Then you got someone like Chan who's like, He's always gonna give you some Michael Jackson and what he does, like some some like real smooth stuff. So I just think that choreography alone is like I had to rewind and watch different members mm. um, because everyone does things so differently, yeah. um, and they always look cohesive though. Um, yeah. But you always have to watch each member for how they do it, mm -hmm. um, and I like the styling. I think the styling plays a big part in like choreography for an era because you can have great choreography the styling is wrong it won't show like i think super looks good when they have like the traditional like flowy clothes it looks better than if yeah. they were to have like the clothes that they wore during hot where it was like a lot of like mesh tees and stuff like that it wouldn't mm -hmm. look the same um so yeah i'll fact check for sure they that foot yeah. like that footwork was crazy and the dance the dance practice was crazy that's a good point about the outfits because like bringing up hot 
you know how uh, the eight had like the see-through shirt, and at first I was like, um, excuse me, but then it makes sense with the whole hot kind of era. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and then just like the that's like more like 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 more like sensual movements and stuff like that. So it's more like pro more provocative movements, I guess. But fact check was more like to the point, like fast moving stuff, almost like v VVZ's like maniac. Like they had like a lot of like skirts and flowing mm -hmm. stuff. And yeah. that went with, it's almost like Tyler's water. Like she said it, like the styling plays a big fact, uh, a big factor in like how a dance is going to look. Cause you might be killing yep. it, but it might not look good to someone who isn't a dancer. Like I'm not a dancer. Mm -hmm. So I might not understand that they're like actually the doing movement, a good job yeah. because their clothes yeah. aren't showing me that something movement, out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like styling mm -hmm. plays a big part in like the choreography. Mm -hmm. Great point. Well, before I bring up the next category, I just wanted to show how much respect I have for Seventeen. Every single time, uh, you know, anybody in that group chat when we were trying to pick what dances we were gonna do mentioned Seventeen. <laughs> yeah, that, that shit scared the fuck out of me because I was just like, no, <laughs> we're not doing no fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, he was not trying to do like, it. These dudes are maniacs. Like they're maniacs with dancing. I don't want no parts of that <laughs> shit. So when they were like, "We're gonna do it," you guys are just gonna beat it. I was, "Oh, that's great. Thank you." <laughs> just, just wanted to show how much respect I got for seventeen. <laughs> Too much respect. <laughs> A next category. They don't um, care about the TikTok challenges. <laughs> No, nobody does their chat like like certain groups. No one I noticed like no idols do like the agencies are like we're not doing challenges with seventeen. You're not about to <laughs> like, like they're like nah. nah they'll they'll be just, like we'll just we'll just move our hands for that. Yeah, we're, gonna, <laughs> we're gonna do like the little finger heart. Y'all gonna interact a little bit and walk away. That's it. So so the next category is uh your favorite move from a K-pop choreography, uh. I'll start. Go ahead. Mm -mm. Uh. That's it. It's something I can do. Yeah. That's why it's my favorite dance move here. <laughs> so, Shun. Easy, easy Thanks. enough to do. Uh. That was my favorite move of the whole oh, the year. Oh, the dragon? Yes. Just, just, yeah. Yeah. just that. I mean, you can groove with it. You ain't got to do it right. That's easy for me. So, that's that was bad. my favorite move. <laughs> You know what? I got to agree that's with That's always my favorite choreography. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's my favorite move in a choreography. <laughs> when I first saw that, I was like, hold up. This song is about driving, and my and, man is shifting yeah. the ears <laughs> and the choreography. He, and but then when I saw he put the seatbelt on, he made me notice that. I'm like, hold I was on. just like, yo, huh? this is next level. How did level. that work? You know? My man put the seatbelt on, put it I in the to, gear. I need to watch that music. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, when you watch him put the seatbelt on, and they, and they do it quick, too. It's like a real. <laughs> you can hear the click when you press yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's the bit. click from the mo movement, and then he puts it in gear. It, it's just so fire. I, I, it's just fire. I can't say anything else. So I can't read good because I, I got the the shoom. What the, that was my move. Uh huh. And standing next to you was probably my favorite performance. Oh my god. With Ursher, you know what I mean, <laughs> especially. Um. So the most iconic is the car, uh, shoom shoom. But dang, standing next to you is, I guess, my favorite performance. <laughs> okay. All right. With Ursher, singing <laughs> Usher, you know what I'm saying? So, dang. It's all, right. it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. I, uh, I'm going to say, let me see. What did I put? I got it written down. <laughs> um, it was, it was in, it was NCT Doje Jung. It was perfume. Oh. There's like a, oh, what is good. it? It's the second verse. It's Jay Young. When Jay Young comes out and he's <gasps> like, yeah, 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 that's, yeah, that's me. me. Yeah. 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 And then, yeah. and then he go up here and do the hips. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. That was, yeah. that was, that was, was, it was, that was crazy because I like, knew it. as soon as she said Jay Hyun, I was like, oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah that's me again. I'm a yeah, he he had that little because it changed the whole trajectory <laughs> of the song. Like yeah. he just came because they were dancing together for the most part. Um, and then he had that, like, that was probably the longest solo part that, uh, that one of them had at that point. Um, 
<laughs> either that or like uh what was was it this year i can't remember if it was this year so i didn't i was was kai's rover came out yeah, it yeah came that out was this year. Year. Yeah. so yeah. that was the little but it's but i didn't because it's like a similar it's not the same exact move but it's kind of a similar thing with the stomp and the oh the yeah arm yeah. um but yeah like that that was fire too but like that yeah that window that that jayun had when he came mm. out was crazy yeah that was crazy he snapped on that one nice he nice. snapped on that one jayun been i ain't gonna lie last year two years he was not on the bias list but he he knocked the door down for me i ain't gonna lie he, he knocked the door down because i had i had my bias list in nct you know that's a big huge group so i had my bias list locked up like this ain't moving and Jay on was like, nope. nope. Yeah, yeah that's that. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, came, <laughs> he came through. Yeah, that was crazy. See, I they wish I went before you because I was really sure about my answer. And then you came with the, yeah, yeah, that's me. And now I'm like in shambles, but I'll just, I'll just stick with what I had written down. But if I were able to change, I would change it. To that because <laughs> wow that re oh my goodness i almost forgot about that one too i changed it right before we started the video, <laughs> literally. i was literally going through like my favorite song i was going through my favorite songs of the year and i was just visualizing Corey. i was like yep i missed one yeah because i was really i was stuck on this one the perfume part because i like that too but then i was like okay i'm gonna pick busok soon's fighting Fighting, oh, yeah. Yeah. fighting, fighting, mm -hmm. because yeah. it's it's just any time when I tell say to some, I used to do like this, like fighting, but now I'm like fighting. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, yeah, it's the movement changed for me. So no, I was like, so oh, iconic. what choreography like literally changed my entire behavior? Okay, Busok Soon's <laughs> fighting, right. Right. but yeah, 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 that's me. Oh yeah, my yeah. god, no, Busok Soon's fighting, fighting. Snap. It was the hips. It was the hips. <laughs> he snapped. He snapped on that snapped. one. He snapped. He him. Damn. Okay. Mine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. v, I don't know if it's yep. VVs or B, VVZ, because I know it's BBG. like. BBG. 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 Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah. But the. Is it? It's not the bridge, right? Is it after or before the bridge? Umji, when Umji end. is in the center and she's just like, you know, doing her little thing. Yeah. So, so, so iconic. So iconic. Like, I feel like I saw that video, like that move passed by so many times. And like, every single time in my head, I'm like, yes. No, she did that. And it's actually way harder than it looks because you really it's... had to isolate the hips and you had to sway at the same time and look backward. So I saw like a video the of the choreographer teaching them and she was like, moving like every single second i was like that looks so hard yeah. like i can't so that was like, cute that was that video they had was cute though how she yeah. was like breaking it down for them yeah. it was her yeah. like shimby yeah <laughs> so cute. cute so cute so cute so yeah after they caught chang bin one. too they got chang bin to do oh, it. Dude. Like, that's what everybody was hoping for dude, <laughs> that yeah. bin, baby he baby girlifies all the <laughs> yep girl group girlifies. choreography Nice, nice. So, yeah, um, I'll go close. next before I forget it. Um, it's NCTU baggy jeans when ten uh, starts. The watch me drip in that tap snap that yeah. That. I was like, yeah, ten. ten I'm floored. Crazy with that one, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, I so did forget right. about that one. Yeah, that was yeah. That's that was so crazy. swaggy the way they just did that all together in the group and the buildings were like shifting. I was like. What the f is happening? Yeah, I was caught between a bunch of them, between you know, BBC throwing it back and Bouncy's line where they where they lean yeah, back is we killer. Is killer. But I had to go actually with because I think when I think of a, a move that really kills me, it's one that I'm like, ugh. Uh, you get the same face and you have to rewind it and rewatch it. And that was um, Sonu on The Boys Watch It. His, hey, hello, my name is... And his sidestep oh. is smooth with it. Yeah. <laughs> smooth with it. I haven't seen it yet. 
Yeah. It, 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 it killed me. <laughs> Dude, this soundboard is crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, I actually, I totally agree with you. There's something uh, that was usually really powerful and harsh, like in a good way, in his mm. movement. But with that, he was so smooth. And it just works so in tandem with just the 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 mood of the songs. I think that's like right after the first chorus, and it just blend so perfectly oh mm -hmm. I, I really do love it that was one of my favorite releases of theirs in a long time mm -hmm. so hi hello my name <laughs> is you <laughs> <wanted> <laughs> to some guy. i can't remember it so do you remember now yeah okay <laughs> in the choreo there's i forget what other members are with him but he's front and center there um but there's there's two other at least in the mv there are two others with him but yeah that's my choice yeah good choice Good choices right, by everybody. Next category oh. is best rapper from a group. Who wants to? Go I have a first? really quick question. Did we skip a category? Did we? I thought so. That's why I got mixed up. We skipped <laughs> a category. Favorite artist choreo. Best choreo, uh, like of a group, group or artist, just like a general. Choreos. Yeah. That's I the so. group with the best choreos. Oh, artists best, with the best choreo, choreo from, from a group artist in 2023. Yes, we did skip that one. Uh, just like overall, like multiple. Yeah, overall, yeah. like Warriors, right? they got a lot of choreography. Always, they always come. Uh, for, I, I I could go first. I mean, for me, it, it wasn't that difficult for this one either. It was New Jeans. Uh, I don't know how many times yeah. I'm gonna say that today, yeah. but their choreographies are so addictive. They always look like they're enjoying it. Uh, every single choreography of theirs has a moment that I always remember. The ETA. Catch the man cheating yeah, that was with the phone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, like every single one of their songs, there's a moment that you remember from all their choreographies. Every single one of them, and they're all really infectious. And they, and even for somebody like me that don't know how to dance, that has two left feet, I want to try it because <laughs> they just always look fun. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna have to piggyback right off of that. Hey man, and um, I'm gonna have to say New Jeans as well. Uh, just because I felt like the way they view their discography with the choreo and any type of environment, any type of venue, concert, wherever they're performing at, I feel like they always give us a new flavor of it yeah. with each performance I see of the same song. Mind you, they have five choreographies out at the same time. And, at and, one point. and <laughs> yeah. I, I think that's really impressive to me because... I can get a different vibe from a different performance and, you know, maybe it's something with the styling, like you guys have been mentioning, or just with the charisma and personality they give to each new performance. I'm yeah. just always like, wow, this is a great performance, but I've seen it before, but I still say it's great. And that's what just been happening to me with, with new jeans. Every single time I see them, it's just another, another detail I see of something or, they do something a different way. I just really enjoy it a lot. So, yeah, New Jeans. I, yeah. I just wanted to add to that real quick. I always say it, but it's just like New Jeans takes me back to my childhood when I used to see the girls, the like girls that would get up in groups and do dances together yeah. and look like they were like <laughs> just bouncing off each other. Yeah. Like New Jeans has that vibe. Like, I don't know how many yeah. times I watch performance and they, they're all doing their own thing. And then Minji smiles and tells everybody, Hey, come over <laughs> yeah, here. Come and then they all start doing something. Yeah. And it, just, it always blows my so mind. Cause I'm cute. just like, it looks like you guys didn't practice this. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's like the easiest. It looks like you got together and pulled something out and nobody yeah. else in K-pop has that vibe with choreography. Everything looks so structured. And I'm not saying new jeans doesn't look structured. It just looks more free flowing. It looks more natural. Like, some random group of friends can get together and try this and have a ball. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's the amount of content that we consume, the fact that we learn through the dance, <laughs> <laughs> all the stage performances that we've seen. Um, I think same here. It's like we always give them praise. You know, it's, it's I don't know, man. Especially that super shy. Like we've been seeing in so many different stages. They yeah. change up the vibe. Everything is just so fluent. It looks like they're having so much fun. It's not like any hardcore, like crazy extreme. It's I mean, it's kind of it's kind of like straightforward, but I mean at the same time it gets your attention. So um new jeans for mm -hmm. me as well. I'll go next. Um it would be ATs for me. Oh, because yes. it's like to add on to what I was saying about the whole Cali training. The choreographers, mm -hmm. I don't know who chooses their choreographers, but shout out because the people who choreograph for them fits ATs' style so well. 
And not just that, ATs, they're like, the way they perform, they're like, so when you take dance classes, at the end, they have groups where they choose certain students. And ATs would be like that chosen group, uh, like the best. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, they really have a, they're like, all they all so are well. so in sync, but they dance so differently. Mm-hmm. I love how they carry their personality and their dance too, especially looking at Hong Jung. Hong Jung was always such a, such a showman, like a frontman of a of a of a rock group. To me, he has this panache and this like, um, I guess flamboyantness to him of like mm-hmm. this aloofness and almost coming off like slightly drunk on stage. And I just love that. Like even in bouncy, yeah. when he's kind of falling yeah. over himself. Yeah. He's got yeah. such style, man. Yeah, <laughs> he's yeah. very he's Jack funny. Sparrow in the way he dances. And yeah. like, yeah. Sam is like a resurrected zombie. And mm. uh, I had to say shout out to Yuno in ATs. I think he's an underrated dancer. Oh, he's yes, really he good. Is. He's a really good dancer. Mm-hmm. Especially for his size. Like, for, like, typically for idols, he's a taller idol. Mm-hmm. And he's like, I feel like, especially like if you're in a group with like shorter members... Like you really have to, like, kind of you level to yourself. Yeah, yeah. You have to adjust your, yourself, and like he does a good job of like using his strides and yeah. not like overshadowing other members. Mm-hmm. But yeah, everybody for me it was like Yo San during like Deja Vu era, especially. He, I was like, yeah, this dude is. I, I wasn't familiar with his game. <laughs> <laughs> He's another one. I guess I'll just go now because I just. (laughs) Uh, um, Yeah, for me, again, NCT ATs are easy, like easy answers for me personally. uh, But I, I do want to say XG, because the the reason why is because of the sheer number of like like uh, Dame said, how many choreographies are out at one time? Like if you look at twenty twenty three, they had. Thank God I'm fly, uh, shooting star left. Like they had like so, so much. much, so many different and and they're like different types of like TGIF wasn't one of my favorite from them, but it was so different. Like this was yeah. like this voguing fashion show music type song. Then you've got like the hard R and B nineties type stuff, like shooting star left, right. Then you've got like a Girl ballad. Game. So like they have like so many yeah. different types of vibes. And they also mix like I feel like slightly difficult choreography with like a um, captivating chorus that people feel like they can do. And I mm-hmm. think that that's important in this era, especially we're in the TikTok era. It's mm-hmm. important, right. not all the way, but not if that's your calling card. Like ATs is calling card, Stray Kids calling card. Their calling cards are dancing, so of course they're not gonna, you know, do a certain, you know, thing just for a challenge or whatever. Um, but like, I just feel like with XGB and a newer group, especially like they do good at captivating while also showing like, no, we can still dance too. Like it's not all gimmicky, but they can put gimmick, gimmicky moves Mm -hmm. in there and make it look presentable and clean, uh, in a way. So that's why I want to give it to them just off the, just off like the sheer number of choreographies that they had last year. Nice. Um, Mine is a recent love I've discovered, um, which is a lot of this comes from potential, I guess, of I'm not like insanely familiar with their whole discography, but at least their title tracks. And that's N Team. And N Team is one of those groups to where the first time I react to them, I'm like, OK, these guys can dance, man. They can dance, but also convey emotion in songs like Under the Skin, but also have this really groovy panache to them like a. Uh, like a mini EXO in Scent of You. And then you have more powerful stuff like they just put out in War Cry or even something bright like Dropkick. So their range is immense. They're brand new and they're kind of already showing out. And we had talked before how it really does seem like there's a, maybe a, a resurgence of the girl group, which is so tremendous. But then you're like, all right, now where are all these boy groups at? And this is that one of those first instances I'm seeing of like, okay, now here's someone who's really bringing it. We have ATs killing it. We have 17 who's been killing it forever. And now we need these new groups to match this level of performance and quality. And right there on your first year, I see N-Team as already that group that's, that's doing that. So they're my choice. Just only 
not just for what they've put out so far, which is not a ton of a body of work, but also how excited I am for their future and that they're always a group I'm going to be looking at of like, okay, well, what's this choreography going to look like? That's my first kind of instinct. So yeah, they're my choice. That's a good way to describe yeah. them, like a mini XO. I see that. Like, I totally mm. see that with them. Scent of you especially, I was like, I feel like I'm listening to Baby XO right now. <laughs> <laughs> did, we, did we link up again? <laughs> <laughs> Number six. Yeah. 17. Seventeen raw here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and 17 is 17. And I think a big shout out to performance unit. <sighs> big shout out. Big shout out, big shout out to performance Damn. unit. I think the way that they convey their songs, their unit songs into dance is always something that feels like, oh, that makes so much sense if you like look at the lyrics and look at the song as a whole, like the whole vibe, but then also like give you something surprising. Yeah. Like I think we waited so long to see what the choreography were for Wave would look like. And then when we finally got it, oh my I don't god. think god. I could sleep. Oh it my was... god. <sighs> that was my favorite performance when I saw them in concert. <sighs> it was in the way the Sweet lights eyes. matched the vibe. I was like, wow, natural I'm so high happy here. For you. you saw that in I'm real so life? For you. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. <laughs> genuinely. My bad, like, but yeah, no. No, they, they no, 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 life. genuinely. No, no, no you genuinely. Deserve, you deserve, everybody I'm, deserves to see Anyone that, that saw Wave live, I am yeah. so, I'm not going to lie, I'm so jealous because that is one of my favorite choreographies. <laughs> it was Wave. amazing. Like, the, and Moonwalker. Of, the whole arena was they got really quiet because we were just in in a trance watching Wave. When will they ever, ever come here? <laughs> Hi. This year. It, it'll be this year. Let's... Hi. Fingers crossed. Please. But, like, yeah, I think the their choreographies are just... Outside of, like, their title tracks, I think what they do for their concert, for their performances, yeah. is just acts absolutely amazing. And also, like, they always have that part during the concert where they are basically just freestyling. And I love the way that they're all so quick. Like, it's like one member will just do something and then the rest has to follow follow yeah. with that. And they're it's like they are able to, like, feel the energy or something yeah. because they'll get to move so quickly. Because for every city, they did, like, something different. Because I think, like... Um, they did Super Shy, too, one time. They did Super Shy. I think, like, because... <laughs> Getting sturdy was like a trend at one point, and Vernon was like, "I'm gonna do this," and then everybody was just like, "You know what? Let's just join in." And they were it's just like, doing so quick. it's so quick, and it's so like you can see their training in there, and like the synergy that they have with each other, mm -hmm. just like, and also like, I think for, I I say this, the weakest dancer in Seventeen is somebody else's main dancer in another group. Like they're so good. They're actually so good. They're so. Yeah. Good. I'm like. It really is. Rough, it really just is. Some feathers with that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't care. I don't care because they're really like they have. Obviously, they have their strengths in 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 like their things like like the performance unit performing is what they do, but they're also amazing singers. Like vocal unit, they do everything. Like vocal, their vocals are popping up, and then hip hop unit, obviously, um, with with uh with their raps. But like, I feel like what brings them all together is like their joy for performing and like yeah. the way that they want to like tell you guys a story mm -hmm. their concerts feel very much like a theater like yeah. like you're watching a play and i think that that also is something needed in choreography not only doing the dance test but also giving you that um mm -hmm. hey this is what is yeah. you know like in a musical like the whole yeah. like step step here they're we're going here kids. but it's not just like we're just gonna walk they're tears they kids. really are yes mm -hmm. they are i love kids. that and it's really like every single time 17 comes back it's something i look forward to like mm -hmm. maybe even more than like the music video or something i yeah. just like what does a choreo look like this time around because yeah. yeah they're always yeah. always always on their a game so yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. that was everybody right yeah Okay, so the next category is favorite rapper in an idol group. 
our K-pop group. Um, this isn't my choice. Just a quick plug. I want to uh, shout out to Fatu. Shout out. Uh, shout out. We got a chance to shout interview out Fatu. Shout out. Uh, and by the time this video is out, our interview with Fatu will be out. Yes. So no. Right. Damn. Shout with out. With our fellow yes. Belgian. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yes. So oh I just my god. Her, her album yeah. is crazy. Yes. Uh, but my choice is. Uh, it's pretty obvious. Uh, it's Changbin, Stray Kids. Mm. Uh, that dude is just absolutely ridiculous. And just to be clear, Han is my bias. Mm. But mm-hmm. I don't know what Changbin was on this year. Mm-hmm. But he was on something. Mm-hmm. And the, protein, the protein. <laughs> right. <laughs> the energy he conveys. Yeah, he came back diesel this year, by the way. The energy he conveys <laughs> on these records. And then, like y'all mentioned, then when he does these uh challenges with other idols and he's smiling it's it kind of like brings down the intensity in the songs a little bit you know what i mean but he still Mm -hmm. always that intensity when he does his stuff by the way i think him and cherry young should do a project because i love their chemistry together that like it's like she almost like bullies him like she's more ruthless than shang ben which is hard to think of you know he's a very aggressive Mm -hmm. sounding guy Oh, he's sounding, yeah. But shout out to Shane. You ever see that? You ever see that cartoon of the big dog and the tiny little cat, and the, and the dog has to do whatever the little cat wants? It's kind of like that. Cute. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, I'll go next. Um, my favorite rapper last year was August D. Shut oh, up. nice. Um, it's just something already about him and just how captivating he he always commands your attention. But I really felt. Um, his project this year was just amazing, like to, on a personal level, how deep he was getting in the album. And just sonically, it's just the way he just just commands the, the, the attention of the track and it just meshes so well with the production. I feel like he snapped this year. So, yes. Uh, so, uh, alright. Can I say... <laughs> It's okay, you man. You gotta change something on your list? No, I can't. Okay. I'm gonna say BM from Car. Okay. Yeah. Are you scared? Okay, let's yeah, go. Why are you scared? Yeah. Hey. yeah. Wait. Why was <laughs> that such a? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna go with BM from Car, man. His, his lyrics make me laugh. Yeah. Uh, I think I think they're really fun and catchy. And frisky. Yeah. <laughs> no one doing it. Shout out. Shout out to the woman. <laughs> <laughs> um. So I refuse to choose between these two that I've been fighting back and forth about. Uh-oh. Uh so I will piggyback off of Shang Changbin. Mm. Uh his verse when he starts in Mega Verse, when he does that whole pop the oh. pop the pop, whatever. <laughs> he talks about popping, he talks about pop star, he delivers it like he's shooting, like spitting yeah. fire. Oh. So mm. that was genius for me. I was like, oh my God. So there's Changbin, and then there's this is kind of a unit. Maya and Coconut would show you can Ooh. because of the bars. The John Cena. That was hard. The that show right you can. It was too much for me. I was like, what? They're so right. Totally behind so that. Right. Totally behind that. Yeah, yeah. That's like probably my I think it's my on my top five of Spotify. Mm. Nice. Wow. I mean, I go, I'll go next. August Z too, for me. Nice. Yeah. I. You know or you don't. I'm sorry. I don't even know <laughs> what to you add that. to yeah. that. Like, that doesn't need any explanation. I feel. Wait, who did you say? August D. Oh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's like default. <laughs> default. <laughs> no. Yeah. Same. Uh, my favorite rapper, also Augusty, because I mean he's always, always been my favorite like uh, rapper in BTS as well. I just really, uh, I don't know, I really resonate with the with the music that he makes. I really like the way that he can put his emotions and his thoughts yeah. into this. Oh yeah. Beautiful like melody, like okay, not beautiful melody, but you know <laughs> he, he can rap. <laughs> his ass off and it's always always so i don't know you can really feel that it's his work and he's so he's always so true about like everything like he even said like 
I thought every rapper wrote their own lyrics like what like and that just shows like that just I love comes that to show out <laughs> yeah. yeah and that just comes to show like okay yeah like this man like don't even play about august d and mm-hmm. like um yeah like a said like his his d what was the d-day album yes <sighs> so crazy his delivery no mm-hmm. that album i cannot stress enough how much how much how much i love that album the just a personal attachment even like everything like i said i want to say yungi but yeah yungi the way that that he just (laughs) rides and the way that he's able to talk about every single thing whether it's like he's mad or he's sad or he's like talking about how he grew up or he's like he's he's happy or he you know better days are coming and the way that he just can put all those emotions into words I respect it so much. I don't know. I really look like I really look up to it. It's so so nice to see, and like especially if you've been kind of following his evolution ever since, you know, his first album as August Z, like his mixtape, and then now, the way that he went from so mad to finally finding his peace and being able to like yeah, close yeah, the door yeah. of that chapter. I love that. I love love mm. love that. So yep, August D. Yeah, I just really like his aggression. <laughs> yeah, he's very very like the delivery the uh, delivery yeah he's, he doesn't hold back also mm-mm. i love it mm. uh, my choice would be hong jung of at's uh from a growth perspective of mm. there being such style to his delivery early on and i've seen in the albums that have come out in 2023 just a a, a jump up in in proficiency with him and i kind of always liken them to like Hong Jun is is the Han, whereas Mingi is the is the Changbin, the power of ATs, and that's kind of like the dual role that role that they play with each other. But mm-hmm. Hong Jun really just kind of elevated himself, I think, this year. Like his his speed in uh, Wake Up on their first album in 2023, insane, like insane rapping speed. But then also giving you something kind of completely different with uh, <clears throat> Matt's um, and that and that whole uh, song. I haven't checked out the the videos yet. I've only done like the. I haven't done the the videos that they did for the subunits, and I'm very excited for it. But that's like enjoy that. Those are those quintessential like gym staples for me. Of like this, just I could run through a wall right now. (laughs) (laughs) uh, So yeah, for his just level of growth that he's shown um, as a rapper, not only as being a producer and a freaking mastermind. uh, Yeah, I gotta give it to Hangju. You know, if if there was a category for writing, I would have gave it to him for what he's been doing with Zikers. Uh, I really like mm. the fact that he's helping them craft their sound too. So, oh, I didn't even know that. I didn't know he was I writing for Zyker. That. That's so yes. cool. Yeah, writing and producing actually. Damn, that makes Zyker. sense. Yeah. There's another group I need to check out. Same. Yeah, I've seen them live, but I haven't reacted to them yet. <laughs> so yeah, I, 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 I got to like, do that. <laughs> literally haven't heard anything. I think when they debuted is when I got COVID. So I kind of just oh. forgot to get back to them. So. Black? Um, yeah, mine is to, well, so I did a boy and a girl. So okay. mine was, girl was, uh, I got I to gotta give Dami her love. Mm. Uh, <laughs> just because like, I grew up, um, my first, like, I guess, experience with, like, different music outside of, like, just straight hip-hop and R&B was when Jay-Z and Linkin Park collabed. And that was, like, a turning point in, like, my music interest. Like, that opened me up to, like, everything. Um, And I really became a big Linkin Park fan after that, like, just their own stuff. And I always got Linkin Park vibes from Dreamcatcher um, with like just being like a rap rock hybrid. Oh, um, yeah. and I, I think, didn't even realize that. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I think Dami especially, like Vision. she has a very tough role in their group because they have such a specific sound that's different yeah. and it was so challenging for them. And I feel like for her to still be on point with all her raps, whether they need 10 seconds from her, whether they need 30 seconds from her, whether they need whatever. And with her deeper voice, um, really changing the tone of the song, um, she gets a lot of love from me in that regard. And when I saw them live, like she was, she was as expressive as I've seen her. Like she's usually very like laid back girl crush. And she was like on a hundred, like she was like 
she knew the power that she was holding. Um, so I would say her, and then on the boy group side of things, it's it's tough. I can't. Hong Jun is my bias in ATs. Been that way since day one. It's hard for me to choose between him and Mingi though, because Mingi has some of my favorite verses, like in K-pop period. So because I can't choose between them, I'm going to choose Card uh, BM from Card. <laughs> um, I also saw Card. I also saw Card live. <laughs> Mm -hmm. ah. So that was like, I saw Card live and like we were talking about with venue spacing, we were like in that nice. blues kind of setting where you're like right up on the performer. And he is like, like he's like, when you think of like, I forget he's a K-pop artist at all because he's like American artist, West, like he, he, in the sense that he knows like, his crowd control and like his like way of the man came out and like with like an extra layer on just so he could take it off. Like, I know <laughs> for a he, he threw the jacket on just so he could take it. Like he had something on and then like a song later, the lights dimmed and the shirt was gone. And it's just like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he just, he knows crowd control so well, just as an MC, I feel like, um, and so yeah, I think that he he his verses are always fire. Icky this year, Icky his verse was real fire. And now he that was talking, tip line. He, was, he was talking crazy. Yeah, I had to Situ go back and like look up oh, the God. lyrics because I'm like, this I'm not talking I, about guidance. I think I, I think like, some of this is like got to be wrong. And I went and looked, and I'm like, he's gonna be performing this on music show. <laughs> but uh, and also in like a and also he's like a help like the Hong Jun thing producer bag like all yeah. type his own stuff like he's one of those idols that doesn't get enough credit for like producing like he pr i think he produces a lot of car stuff and his own stuff um uh -huh. uh, so yeah i would give it to bm and dami nice good stuff so nice. okay well i guess like since you already talking let's pass the ball back to you next category <laughs> is best female vocalist is that what it was mm -hmm. hey, yeah best Solo female vocalist female? Solo, best yeah. solo female. Cool. Best solo female. Solo. Vocal. Solo. We're doing solo female vocalist. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Damn. <laughs> um. So. I'm probably gonna have to go back to. Geo. On this one. Because I don't know, like, I just think. Like someone mentioned earlier, when you're the front person for a group for so long, like all, most of the greatest artists in history have come from a group. That's what a lot of people I feel like forget, even in the West. But like, so when you're seen in that category, especially in K-pop, it can be hard to kind of craft your own identity in such a short time. I still feel like she didn't get the love that she deserved from her album, um, but sometimes in K-pop, the best stuff doesn't get the love it deserves. That's just what I've come to realize. I don't know what Next. it is, um, yeah. but I just think she just had, her voice is very, um, it goes in line with what they did. Like, I think they produced perfectly. You could tell she had a lot of say in like what was going on. And I think that, like, especially a song like one of her B sides, "Closer," that stage performance was like one of the best I've seen like all year. And I think that that just went with her voice and everything like that. So I just think, like, when you talk from a production standpoint of like producing a song tailored to a specific idol's voice, Geo had like some of the best stuff uh, this year across the board. I mean, she had four songs on that that. Um, repeat for me and I think that's in today's day and age like that's hard to do is to have like you know 40 to 50 percent of your songs on a new album that someone likes right away you know it usually takes people a minute um so yeah that, that's probably my pick for solo vocalists I'm gonna have to I'm piggyback go... off of that too yeah yeah, yeah. 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 everything he said like uh, like, you know, her song Wishing on You, the high notes in there. I was like, what the Mariah Carey is going on in here? Uh, <laughs> and yeah. then um, 
her song don't want to go back her voice sounds so sad and it mm-hmm. goes with the lyrics and watching the behind the scenes the way she would re-sing that last note i was yeah. like she's so passionate about it so yeah geo same for me Y'all too? geo <laughs> yeah no it's female vocal definitely definitely geo especially as you know uh, I feel like I speak for a lot of onces when I say that we've been waiting for Gio to have her her own album, like her own solo album, just because of how her voice is so, 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 so good. And she's so powerful. And the way that that woman loves to be on stage and loves <laughs> to be an idol, I've been waiting to see her shine like this. And like mm-hmm. the album is so, so, so good. It's totally up my alley. I love all the songs. I feel like it really suits her vibe as well. We share the same birthday, by the way. I just wanted to flex that. Oh, okay. anyway. <laughs> so like, that's my twin. No, <laughs> but, no, really, really. Like I loved her album. I loved it. Like everything, even like the styling. I know we're talking about vocals. I just want to talk about Jill Fisker. <laughs> but everything about like the whole Zone album was so, so, so good. And I'm so happy for her that she was finally able to just showcase her voice even more, I guess. Like, I I remember like when I first got into K-pop and I heard her voice for the first time. You know when someone's voice is so yeah. powerful, you can feel it in here, like it vibrates in here. Like <laughs> Gio was really that girl for me. She really mm-hmm. was. So yeah, Gio. Quick question: um, What's the criteria? Do they have to have released something this year on their own? Or I'm about to break those rules too. Are where, they uh, are they allowed to be a feature on something? If you want, mm. whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, because then I'm gonna say Wendy. <laughs> mm. oh. <laughs> I'm gonna say Wendy because I was just thinking, like for me personally, I don't wanna put out a name whose songs I don't listen to often just because of the sake of following the rules. And I think that when it comes to like um i'm sorry wendy's just undeniably good yeah like, I, if, mm-hmm. she's just so powerful and i feel like she's one of the only artists who will be a feature on a song and i wouldn't care about who the other artist is and i would still <laughs> listen to the song just because it's wendy so yeah that's my reasoning <laughs> wendy. wendy yeah i think there are artists that totally break the mold of rules here um, so my choice was Wendy as well. <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, nice. Because if you haven't seen her Limujin service episode and realize why she is the best vocalist in the industry, I feel like at least absolutely jaw dropping, like floored me how good she is. Uh, unreal. Don't even, um, so even know. Though- performance the killing voice was crazy oh, killing crazy. voice is nuts too i especially though like if anyone has not seen the limujin service episode please like do yourself that service it's just unbelievable she's amazing and i think we recently heard that she is going to be putting out more solo stuff this year which i cannot wait for um she's incredible just speaking of like solo uh solo female vocalists i also just wanted to shout out someone i discovered recently called march mrch if you haven't checked her out she's really damn good dude he is really good um yeah yeah i feel like some kind of like uh i don't know what to call it like an indie rock pop vibe but with so much just she's captivating she's so likable you will fall in love watching this girl perform uh just just amazing so uh She's, I think, relatively new. I believe. What song? Could March you... like the month. I, I would, I would check out it's Surrender. M R C H. M R C H. I would M-R-C-H. check out Surrender okay. or or no, Lovers. Uh, shout and out she's to Surrender. Phenomenal. Um, he put me on her, and yeah, she's she's something. Yeah, so I just wanted to give her that quick shout out because she's awesome, and one of my like patrons recently requested her, and I've kind of fall in love so yeah check out surrender and and lovers from her yes okay, most right. definitely yes let me write that down all right oh well i'm going to piggyback off the geo train yeah geo, <laughs> uh, geo all right you know um phenomenal and yeah i can't say nothing more than what has already been said here so geo <laughs> yeah big geo energy over here too man man hey I mean, it's been a journey for her, and I'm, I'm happy for her project, so shut up. Yeah, just to mention something about Wendy, uh, my uh, mother-in-law was here over, what holiday was that, P? 
I don't know. She's always here. However, exactly. uh, <laughs> she does not listen to K-pop at all whatsoever. I put on the Lee Mujin service. Uh, and when your mom heard that I have nothing, Melody, she got up from the table. Because oh, it's just one of those things when somebody's about to do Whitney, you just got to watch it because you're like, yeah. it's like, huh? You just made a yeah. mistake by yeah. trying to attempt Whitney Houston. Yeah. But when she was done, your mom was like, she was really good. Uh, <laughs> and she yeah. sat back down. And then when we put on the, uh, the, uh, the, what is the, uh, killing, killing Force. Force. Oh, she yeah. got back up from the table and watched Wendy do. Uh, Wendy sing on Killing Voices. It was like she sounds really good and sat back down. She's like, again. What is this? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so just just oh, just wow. to verify how y'all feel about Wendy, just no non K pop. Oh, and he's, if he's you've insane. seen her performance with like the orchestra during like in the middle of a mall or something, there was like a mm. live performance that she did. That was insanity. Like I literally cried. <laughs> I literally cried. Like that last song. No, really. Wendy is, Wendy is just so she's so she really really like she she's a like she transcends K-pop like she's yeah. like generally just an amazing 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 vocalist like wow. it's insane it's really I insane but my However, bias is you got people like John Legend talking about she's ridiculous like yeah like, she's like he's like she's like yeah I I've haven't seen many on that level like because I think they have I'm pretty sure they have a collab yeah um, yeah. Oh, wow. And like he was like floored with with how she sings. Like that's <laughs> high praise. But now I'm with these guys though. I'm my pick is actually Geo. Uh Evidence is wishing on you, right, 1080p? Woo! She's just giving me I, a look. People I, ain't heard you talk all day. Why is wishing on you and Geo vocally so crazy? Oh that that's the one. I can't, yeah. I can't <laughs> <even> <laughs> <camera>. <laughs> and I try to go up and it doesn't it doesn't allow me yeah because yeah. uh -huh. it was unnecessary <laughs> but I loved it <laughs> I'm just like okay you're, my voice can't do that it just <laughs> it, it, it does make you want to try it and you're like no I can't do that I can only do it with her but then when you turn it off it's just like ooh yeah it's like you gotta be in <laughs> Hey. Because she's like overpowering your yeah yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. when I'm thinking we're driving, it, like we're on the same level. <laughs> yeah, in the shower vibe. As soon as the water yeah. starts, it's like oh, I, I'm not like, debuting. Happened? I'm not debuting next year. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. Nice. All right. Also next to speak to how good that album is. You guys each shouted out a different song from her on that yeah, album. I was, I was like waiting, yeah. I was, I was waiting for someone to pick "Room," which is my favorite by far. Oh, yeah. And I was like, everyone's picking a different song. I was like, that's Dana awesome. Mentioned, Dana mentioned "Room." Dana mentioned "Room." Oh, oh, you, oh, okay. You did mention "Room." Yeah, "Room" is is my go-to. "Room" go -to. is very good. Yeah. Yeah. We did choose a bunch of different songs though. Like, yeah, that, I was, I was she realizing. gave us a little of everything vocally. Like, that was a really good, well-rounded. I'm really, I was really disappointed that it didn't get the same the love that like it should have gotten. Mm -hmm. Like it got love, but it did not get the love it should yeah. have gotten. I blame JYP. Yeah, the two week push was not a good idea. That should have been pushed for like at least two months. But yeah. hey. Yeah. Next category, what? best solo male vocalist. Um I I Ace, you I already know who you're gonna pick. Go ahead. Who am I gonna pick? Come on, you tell me who I'm gonna pick. Come on, you're man. probably wrong. <laughs> okay, well if he ain't pick him, I pick him for him. Uh, I'll say Taman. Okay. Uh, guilty. Oh. That's why I'm wearing a turtleneck. I want to know what it feels like to be choked. <laughs> <And Taman> was... <laughs> Taman was yeah. choking himself <laughs> the whole video. <laughs> I don't like putting him on the list because I, I usually know Ace is going to hold him down, but it's kind of hard to deny Taman's vocal performance on that. I can't try to mimic that note he did. Mm. I, I can't do it. it it's not going to work. I'm trying to warm my vocal box, so it's not going to help. Okay. Shout out to Damon. Well, when, when grabbing himself under his shirt, that just lets you know. like he's... Upward. Well, upward. Man, in the gym. That man been in the gym, boy. Bro. Yeah. That man. He was living there. I'm like, has Damon always been like that? <laughs> oh, what else are you going to do in the military? You just do did you Did you see the, the, was it Resnit? No, where was it? No, it was on that concert that he did. That he took off his, his jacket. Yeah. Oh. So I think wrong. someone clipped it and like someone sent it to me like, like in a, like a, 
not a gift, but like a little like TikTok clip or something. Yeah. I was like, yeah, this this dude's on he's he came back with a vengeance. Yep. <laughs> he, he went from vengeance. looking like Michael Jackson to looking like Nelly when he was <laughs> <laughs> Right, LL man built like LL Cool J now. Oh yeah, yeah. He's going crazy. Well, yeah, uh, you're you're actually wrong. Taman is not on my list. Tell that to all the. Uh, well, Taman is not on my list. Um, <laughs> but that is a great selection. No, 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 no can't fix it. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to fix it. <laughs> but my selection is actually old new. Mm. Ah. Uh, <laughs> and it's because I feel like. I, I don't know personally. You know, views don't mean nothing to me. I'm, I know views is a lot, but I don't know if Circle got really the love it, it should have gotten. It didn't. Mm -mm. The whole album, really. Not just Circle, but the whole album. That whole album from him, man, Onu is just a tremendous vocalist. Yeah. And just the sheer emotion and passion and just everything about his voice, especially on this album, I really, really enjoyed. Um, I did a reaction on our Patreon, and I, and I think I said, like, this is just one of my top of the years just because of just the vocals purely in this whole album. I felt like through the whole project, it was just consistent. And as much as I love Tamen, I have to give my, my respect to Onu for this because I don't, I don't feel like he's been talked about much. So I had to give him that, that shout out because I tremendously love that album because of his vocals. Yep, I'll just piggyback off of you because I also chose Onu. Um, tremendous yeah. album. Also one of my tops of the year. If a ghost could sing is kind of how I picture Onu sometimes. Like ethereal and harrowing and kind of unsettling but comforting. Yes. I, I, I've always said that he has such this like honesty when he sings. His vocals are just separated from, I, I feel like, the pack. Um, really special album. Really special voice. Um, he's he was always when I got into Shiny, always you know purported as a lot of people's favorites, and I'm out, I'm waiting for that moment to where it just really grabs me. And this year was that moment yeah. to where I'm like, yeah. all right, like I still love Tame. Tamen still does it all. He's the complete idol. But here, you know, give Onu those flowers. That album was immaculate. Um, and yeah, he's my choice. Uh, I'll say Tamen is definitely a high. Um you know, mention like shout out to Taman for sure. But for this year with the work that I've seen from this other artist, I got to give it to Jungkook. The way he's saying and standing next to you, the high notes and the verses, yeah. I'm not going to, but the, the way he sings the scream and I testify my love, like that part, <laughs> it wow. captures me every time. So I got to give it to Jungkook. You're so Just, right. Let, let oh. me, yo. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, no, um, sorry. You're absolutely right, Jungkook. Uh, but my pick is his fellow bandmate, uh, V. <laughs> nice. Because I love, love, love Jungkook's album. Um, it was so good. And especially, um, what song is it where he starts really? Is it somebody where he starts really, really deep? He goes up. Michael, I just wanted to say that anyway. <laughs> but... I love, 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 love V's tone. Um, and I'm just very, very happy that he finally got to showcase it properly. Uh, like I said before, like when, I, when we were talking about uh, the solo artists, he just has put so much of his own uh, touch into this album. And it's so much of like, he knows how he sounds, how good he sounds. How do I say this? Wait, <laughs> whoa, <laughs> he knows. He knows what sounds right with his voice, I guess. Yeah, I guess you could like say he it like knows that. what genre, what kind of um, what suits his what, voice. Yeah, the best. what suits mm. his voice the best, best mm. I guess. Yeah. Like what techniques, what kind of music, what kind of vibe, and I just really love the way that he brought it to us this year. And "Love Me Again" is my literally my most listened song this year because of. The way, the emotion, the, ah, oh, like, I can't even begin to explain how much I love the way that he sings in that song. So, yeah. It's so comforting. It's so comforting. It is. Mm -hmm. It really is. And I haven't even been through, like, a bad series of a breakup or anything. But the feels, <laughs> like, oh, he puts me through it. 
<laughs> yeah. For me, um, I base this off on like several things. The feelings that I get when they sing really had me in a chokehold for an entire year, and I'm still in this chokehold. And I fear that I might actually die in this in this year <laughs> for the release of a solo. Um, Jaehyun, um, Jaehyun, yeah. He, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's just so, I don't know how he does this. Like his oh, range man. is crazy, but his lower tones, like when he, even when he raps on low tones and he sings on low tones, it lick, it, I feel like my ears are about to explode. Like I feel I'm going to die. Like it's so <laughs> intense and I get emotional. Like I can't even look at him. I can't even like. It's like, ah, oh, keep them on. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah, uh, I try to watch their, like, NCT's um, recording behinds, and I struggle to get through J-Hunts because <laughs> it just pierces me so bad. Like, I don't know what it is. It's like, do you know, like, a dog whistle, and then the dogs just start barking and stuff? I, I feel like that's what me and J-Hunts voice. Like, ah! <laughs> I go crazy. It's, I don't know, like, he is my, yeah, forever only, well, what did he release? Horizon? <laughs> so good. So good. Like, I, ugh, I, I can't wait for him to release his solo. I hope it's coming out this year. Mm -hmm. There's been talk about him collabing with Kalani. Like, Say if that now? is the truth, then <laughs> I don't know. Only about him, I would like to see it. <laughs> yeah. I would like to see it. I would like, I would like to, to see, see it. it. <laughs> but yeah, Jay Hyun for me. I think you were left, Bang Bang. Okay, I can go. Um, yo, it's been a BTS year for me. Uh, so I would love to say uh, Jim and V and Jung Cook, right? If I have to choose one, though, I'll have to say Jung Cook, man. I've been playing that stuff nonstop, or well, at least some of the hits, some of the songs. Um, so that's that's it for me. Okay. Uh, the next category is best uh, group female vocal. Damn, I ain't go. Oh, you did? I could have swore you did. Go ahead, Lot. Mm -mm. My bad. <laughs> no, you good. Uh, damn, what was it? It was... Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, uh, my bad. So I, I can't choose between these two with anything. Um, people on my channel know, like, these two can't... Um, I can't choose and it's 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 even though he's been gone i'm still gonna give him that love is it's jb Ooh, from god seven yes. because of his work as deaf as well people may not know like he has another moniker as deaf which is oh more like my God. he gets that from uh music soul child is one of his idols and so he he's called deaf soul and he took the soul part from music soul child as an ode to him um, he's another idol whose music history prowess is like he listens to people I don't even listen to. Like he, like the eyes leads and stuff. Like he's listening to like super classic. Like he's a true historian. I mean, we call him he's unmatched. Like, making me feel really old right now. Right. <laughs> I think he's. I think he's very unmatched. Because I, I mean, I listen to like classic classic stuff all the time too. But I think he's very unmatched. And like uh, a lot of R and B stuff as yeah. I, yes, I think he's like the one, the one A in the game. Um, and then the other is Baekhyun from EXO. Uh, Let me in that release. He had the he had a part at the end where he had that solo line carry at the end. And um, yeah, he's special. Um, He's special when he, it's like a part in tempo that he gives me like James Brown vibes, like with the footwork, like he's in the Chelsea boots and he comes out at his solo at the end of tempo. And uh, yeah, those two for me vocally, I just think there are others, but I just think those two are very, very like tough outs. Like I can't choose between either of them, but although I would like to see the Jay Young album and I would want one from Hey Chan as well. Hey Chan. Hey Chan. But yeah, those two, JB and uh, and Beck Young for sure. Oh, you're so yeah, right. you're so right about JB. Damn. Oh my God. Yeah, it's my ultimate of all 
of all male idols. That's what there. there. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, best group female vocalist 2023. Uh, yeah, differently absolutely. alike, what you got? Red Velvet. Red Velvet. <laughs> Red, Red freaking Velvet. Velvet. <laughs> they. If they hadn't released uh, The Killing Voice and their latest album, or they released it a little bit later, I would have said XG, hands down, but Red Velvet, Red Velvet. is just in a league of their own. Like, the the their vocals, but also in, in the, the song that they release, I know it's, like, yeah. not everybody's, like into their red and velvet concept like a lot of time people will like hype up their velvet concept but i really love their red concepts as well too and the way that they're able to like still have like those soulful vocals in there and just make it like i don't know i like if you if you listen like just to any album like their latest oh oh my god but just any Any album album. The shock that I feel when I listen to them. Because, Every you know, single time. These these women, the voices, the, the way they complement each other. And then you have like so, such strong power vocals. And you have like, oh my God, they give everything. The production is, you know, it's SM. So production is always going to be okay. Yeah. But it's like the production was made I feel like everything to, is tailored to to like tailor to their vocals. Like yeah. it is not the vocals that are complementing the instrumental. It's the uh, other way around. Yeah, the it's like they built really around red vocals. velvet. It's yeah, so so like their and they have, voices. No. What do you mean they have all of those members in that group? Like that's so crazy to me. Like every single one of them and. And nobody is like outshining the other, or nobody. Yeah, is like, everybody they, does. Everybody has their thing. Everything works so well, like vocally in Red Velvet. Every time I listen to a song of theirs, I feel like I'm ascending. Literally, like <laughs> shout out to Yeti's "Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo." Hey yo, oh my god, oh my god, oh, oh my, my god. god. No, really. No, that album, Chill Kid. Irene with the low. I'm your poet. I'm, I'm your, your prey. prey. <laughs> that album is. <sighs> It's behind some of, I think it's behind Dame. Yeah. <laughs> Next to the Twice yeah. Lights thing. That <laughs> album. That Very album. Good. That mm-hmm. album. Madness. So good. Like, I think we had like a religious experience with every song. <laughs> every song. It's like, oh, how is the next con song going to top that? Oh, the, we might as well stop here. The next song is not going to be any better. Oh. It's like, shut up and just listen because... It's just that good. It's, it's just red velvet, it's red velvet. Red yeah, velvet. I, I gotta piggyback off of that too. I say red velvet. Like whenever Chill Kill came, I'll never forget the impact when they switched right into the bridge and Wendy came. Bridge. Oh my god! I was like, god. I think bridge is crazy. I am like lifting out of my seat and I don't know it. Like it felt like That's I was flying. Me. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> you know, and then you'll have her doing a, a high note, and then na, na, someone na, comes na, in, or someone na, else comes na, in. Na, like, that's what I mean. Like, you can't. Yeah, how she extends end of time there. The yes! so good, so good. Yes. So good. Yes. End of time. <laughs> the <limit of> my... <laughs> I swear, Irene. You know, and like really bad boy when Irene does like the ah, like the the scream. <laughs> mm-hmm. Irene. Like... Sorry. <laughs> that I, mean, I didn't voice. know if Dina had other things to say or I was just going to straight piggyback again because I also chose Red Velvet. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, the Chill Kill album is just, uh, uh, it's so good. It's so good. And it's its such a great album. I, I would say it's front loaded because I love the beginning so much. But really, that just is a testament to how good those early songs are for me. Like, knock, knock. <laughs> Underwater puts me in my casket. Oh my God. God. <laughs> it, it hits so low, and I just love the. They brought back the Tim Burton spooky peekaboo vibes in that album, mm-hmm. and that is prime Red Velvet. Oh That's my. prime Red Velvet. Will I? Will I ever see you again? Will I ever see yes. you again? So good. You're gonna add like <laughs> a little organs. a little synth in there. Incredible. Um, they're like just. Like you described, they're a, like a really great sandwich. Nobody overshadows the other. You got a little bite from your vinegar. You got yep. your 
You got your strength in there with your meat. That's yeah. Wendy, I guess. <laughs> yep. <laughs> they're like a really great sandwich. Um, mm-hmm. Man, Red yeah. Velvet just, they're incredible. One of yeah. a kind. Mm-hmm. Yep. One of a kind. One of a kind. Well, I guess I'll just climb on all you guys back. <laughs> 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 uh, look, man, there's just something about that show kill song. It gives, I get chills every <laughs> single time I listen to it. My eyes damn near water up. Like just oh. listening and you know, bring up those points. Yeah. I feel that feeling again. You know what I mean? Cause it's just something about all the vocal sections on that song sound amazing. I love the fact that Yuri gets to do so much more on this song and on this project in general, but yep. when those hook sections come in and their voices all come together for that, what a chill kill. Like oh I God. really get goosebumps for real. And I'm just like, yo, I don't know what it is, man, but. Like, my reaction may not necessarily reflect it, but by the end of the year, like, I was just like, yo, I don't know how I didn't hear it this good the first time, but this song is fucking incredible. Like, mm-hmm. everything about it is absolutely amazing. I'm not, I'm not even going to talk about the rest of the album, considering they've <laughs> actually made songs where I was just like, these songs are of age for them now. Oh yeah, They're yeah. actually grown <laughs> women, and they're making songs yep. that remind people, like, look, we grown. <laughs> when yeah. some of these other groups on SM, we grown. Yeah. And oh yeah, it's God. it's red velvet for me. And you know, don't even add in the killing voices. That's the, you, that's before oh, yeah, yeah, that's even right. adding any of that stuff. That's yeah. that's just yeah. icing on the cake right there. <laughs> on the red velvet cake. Yep. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. <laughs> oh. All right, twice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all talking so much about red velvet. I feel bad for even saying that, but uh but I'll, I'll, I'll go with twice only because I've been listening to it so much, at least their projects and solo projects and everything uh, in between. So shout out. Dang, I thought you was going to say Red Velvet too. Well, with the air <laughs> pressure, I didn't want to change it. <laughs> <laughs> I love twice. You could say twice. Okay, twice. Okay, well, um, I'm going to be right with you. I'm about to break it, but it's not with twice. Okay. Um, but I do understand the red velvet press. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to make that clear. Love cake. Okay. <laughs> because I actually, that, that was in my top three. Okay. But I chose to select Nmix. That was on my list, man. Um, mm. Just because I really meant when we told Frankie, like, every time I go back and listen to Nmix, I find something new every time I listen to a song. Yeah. Vocally, and I'm just like, mm-hmm. how? How did how did you make that work? How did that sound like? It's just with with all their records, I just really love the sheer vocals that they portray in there. So I understand the Red Velvet love, but Mix got some got some crazy things too. Okay, yeah, they're, they're special vocally. I I would definitely say that, especially yeah. Suliyun. She came she came on to me like later on because that I look that she gave like, on hey, the yard bias, in the but, video. Ooh. So yeah. Leon is she's vocally, she she goes crazy. The yes. great thing about them too is like uh see them live and like mm-hmm. exact same. Sounds just like the album. Yeah, like they, they go, hey, yeah. bring the seen, live vocals. Even have you ever Insane. seen videos of like Haywan like screaming like while they're doing like their dances? Like she's like huh, 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 huh. like mm-hmm. oh, you can crazy. tell they literally like do the breath control thing, like probably while they're training. Like you can tell they've probably done a lot of that. I feel yeah, like it's, it's very obvious they, they yeah, prioritize that dance practices. They actually sing for real while they're dancing on the oh, dance. Yeah. Track. That's yeah. dope. That's how it should be. Mm-hmm. I feel like mm-hmm. you don't just hear the feet. You actually hear yeah. the young boys <laughs> singing. <laughs> like, um, yeah. yeah, mine is. It's, I mean, Sogi's my ultimate in all the cake. Uh, it's going to be red, red velvet. Like, I think, I think oh, yeah. if seeing Mama Moo live this year, if they had dropped, that could have very possibly been my choice because vocally, I think those two groups are in like a different class, Mama oh, Moo yeah. and, and Red Velvet. Um, just vocally, in terms of like multiple members being able to really like just go crazy at any time but yeah the i just saw the killing voice like that like the beginning of 2024 so but like that just like they've done stuff other groups wouldn't even dare you're not gonna see red velvet covers 
You know what I'm saying? I think that's the mark of like a crazy <laughs> female group is like you're not really going to see other groups cover EXO songs or Red Velvet songs or Mama Moose songs. Like you're not going to see that. You know what I mean? And Red Velvet is one of those main groups. So yeah, Wendy impresses me every time, which is crazy because I already have in my head that she's amazing. But every time I see her, it's like, damn, she's better than I thought. And I thought she was as better as I would think she is. So it's just like, how do, like, how do you keep making me second guess where I'm putting you? every single time mm -hmm. and it's like what differently alike said about 17 in terms of their bottom tier of their group would be <laughs> main dead red velvet's <laughs> like joy was a lead vocal at the beginning she would be a main vocal for the ranges that some other groups sing in that's no shade uh but that's just you know she preach, just happens to be that's just the truth they mm -hmm. got a bunch of monster vocalists in there. So. Another testament to how great they are, too, is that for that killing voice, that is the longest killing voice that has ever yeah. that was like they 38 took minutes. They, they took, took like three songs. Out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they gave them the Give time, which it. deserved. <laughs> so but then I checked out Payments, and I'm like, this is 13 minutes. What the hell? <laughs> it's so <laughs> short. And on top of that, they didn't even do all their hits. No. But you said oh, they yeah. took songs out of the killing voice? Yep. Why? Yeah, they cut songs out because it was songs too long. Out because it was too long. I wanted to go for a full concert. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, That's what I'm saying. Man, sure. Okay, they got a Patreon or something. I will contribute. <laughs> <laughs> Next category is uh, best male group vocal. Mine is quick, so I guess I'll just get it out of the way. I'm going with EXO. My evidence is cream soda. Everybody was flexing. Ooh, I don't feel like I need to explain anything else. When you hear how they sing on cream soda, everything is explained. That's that's cream all I'm gonna say. Soda, bro. Axo, bro. Great I mean, choice. Yes, but that was a great choice. But um NCT, those are young. Enough said. Enough said. I don't gotta say nothing tough. else. Tough. Very <laughs> tough. <laughs> Same. Yep. NCT Doja Jung. <laughs> I love this. This is like speed run. We're just going <laughs> <out. laughs> like double dice. <laughs> hey, uh, my group for this year with uh, boy group vocals wise is shiny. Nice. Um, just because nice. I feel like what they release, and especially Onu and Key, like the way they just complement each other, and having uh, Mino and Taman like also there. Alamo SM. It's so yeah. SM. Yeah, it's <laughs> SM training. The it's SM. SM, SM. It's everything SM. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all want to know a fun fact? One of my, to this day, a singer that I've never heard anybody else's vocals is like is from SM. Hmm. And his name is Kanta from HOT. Oh, yeah. Oh, he yeah. has, no I've G. never heard any of the vocals like that. Hmm. One of a kind. Yeah. I'll also just piggyback in that Shiny was also my choice. Uh, uh, and if you, I mean, maybe came to their comeback and you didn't care for Hard or maybe Juice because they're a little bit more, hard. they're different. Listen to the album because the album is very classic Shiny for sure. Um, I The first album that I actually checked out of Shiny was Don't Call Me and I didn't really vibe with it. And it was like I a weird, it was a weird thing because I was going into it so excited and I was like, ah, this is too feel good. And fans were like, oh, it's them, you know, they're about to go into service. So they wanted to leave like kind of something upbeat. And I was like, nah, I want, I want to feel depressed. I want, that's what I want from this. <laughs> <laughs> the hard album the hard album does it for me it also has a lot of like throwback bangers satellite is my choice off of that album it's so good and that's not even to talk about all the great solo stuff that they did mm -hmm. great great solo albums i've only checked out keys and i you know did mino put out one in 2023 i i didn't check out his album i but think he had Harper? chase i think was his latest song i don't know if yeah. that was 2023 was it 2023? yeah i can't remember no, but i they have it down for 2022. Oh, oh okay. Really? So it might have been. It wasn't Heartbreak? He did. No, didn't Heartbreak he released something in 2023. That. Heartbreak was 2021. Chase wasn't 2023? Really? Maybe they, you know, sometimes these like streaming services have like the wrong year or like they just section it mm -hmm. off. Yeah. It might have been qualified as a 2023. I thought Chase was 2023 and that was fire. Chase and Heartbreak. Yeah, yeah. 
But Heartbreak was 2021, though, I think. Damn. Yeah, I have to check out some of, more of his solo stuff because outside of the title tracks, I really haven't. But okay. for me, like, he and, and Onu brought it mm-hmm. uh, on their uh, solo album. So, yeah, Shiny is my choice. Nice. Why did I think that was 2023? Why? Um, I also have an SM group, SM. Because <laughs> I feel like SM is really dominating the vocal category. Um, it is also NCT. I feel like NCT just really has a perfect mixture of everything, including vocalists. So they really, really can. They have a very, very strong vocal line. Like, it's actually crazy. Like, it's so, so good. But also, I didn't even think, I don't know why I didn't think of it, but EXO as well. Exo yeah, is, cream, yeah, cream soda. Cream soda. I think we, how many times did we make a reaction for that I song? That was sick. <laughs> But we could barely get through that one. We could that... get through it. But <laughs> NCT, NCT is definitely wow. Like, yeah, love it. Is, yeah. it on, is everyone TLC done or? Oh, um, I'll, I'll go um, XO. Um, same same reasons, man. Shout out to shout out to that cream soda song, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. XO is untouchable, but. I just think again the amount of songs, uh, like everything was a hit. Doja Jung, that was, and it's just like again, like I think it's a realization thing for me. Like when you know you when you realize like with NCT they have so many members, so I know that I've gradually I know the exact point in time where it's hit me, mm. where each member has been like, oh no, I'm special too, and I think <laughs> Doja Jung <laughs> for true. me was like. Do Young, Do Young was like the the like I sl- I didn't realize like how valuable he is vocally to NCT because Tail is my one two I like Tail a lot and Hey Chan and then obviously Jay Young but like Do Young on a bridge Woo. is like he's <laughs> like one of the best idols like you could have if you're building a vocal song. He's one of the top that you would put on like a bridge type situation. Um, and so, yeah, I just, I'd say Do, Doje Jung. But yeah, typically EXO would be untouchable for me. So that just speaks to volumes of how good Doje Jung was as a unit this year. And he's a hoe. Because <laughs> <laughs> that performance, is it Kiss? With the with the thing open? Oh my God, hoe young. With the zip. Ho yeah. Young. Yeah. Ho Young is crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they whole gave that horse. man. They're dressing that man like Kai. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Kai. Okay. Uh, English song of the year. I feel passionate about this one, so yeah, if you don't Chris, mind. You <laughs> All right. Um, I normally don't really like when they do English songs. I think a lot of the time it just doesn't. It doesn't at least work for me personally. But man. Idol with I do killed it, killed yeah. it. Yo, that it. Rooftop I mean, I, yeah. the rooftop. Oh, I was gonna get to that. The rooftop <laughs> performance is so good. Oh my god! As someone that uh, I mean, I worked in New York City for many, many years. So just seeing that great skyline shots, beautiful. Like, oh my god, the song is so incredible. The synths are unbelievable. The work with uh, Eighty Eight Rising has been so so great. Um, I love the music video. The music video is very. Steven Spielberg, very E.T., very 80s, and I love that, too. Everything about it. The outro, the instrumental outro makes me weep. It's such a good song. (laughs) Um, Minnie looks incredible with blue hair. And, uh, yeah, so Idols I Do is just legendary for me. I love that song. One of my favorites of the year. I'm going to have to piggyback off of Idol as well. But um, And I Do is definitely a really good song. I listen to on repeat. I still do. Throughout uh, with their heat album that. with the all English songs, for some reason, Flip It is my favorite because mm. I did mm. not expect that sound from G Idol. I don't know if y'all heard Flip It yet, but oh, it's oh, so oh. different. Is, is that one that goes hard as hell? He well, made it, sure like, the reason it's, 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 mm. it's very gritty, it's very hip hop. It starts right away into like just this grit. That was like when I checked on my Patreon. I was like, "What the fuck?" I had to restart three times. <laughs> well, look, there is the one. Yeah, they go in on that. Flip it, yeah, listen to "Flip It" and then listen to "Batter Up" from Baby Monster. Mm-hmm. I'll just say that. Wait, what? Say it again. 
I said, listen to Flip It and then listen <laughs> to and then listen to Batter Up oh, from Baby. Shit. Wait, Flip It. Oh, okay. Which is interesting because she chose both songs at different points in this <laughs> time. So that's probably going to hit different for you now. <laughs> ah, I didn't even think about that. Okay. Flip It came out first, though. Yeah. yeah. But I love that song, too. Yeah, Flip It is legit. Uh, I can go next. Uh, my top K-pop English song of the year goes to La Seraphim, Perfect Ooh. Night. Uh, yeah. Mop, yeah. Mop and a half. Mop and a half. Mop and Yo, a half. This song, so I should good. hate this song. So the lyrics, good. the Nathan first couple things lyrics things. are so cheesy. Me and my girlies going party till it's early. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that so works so well. Early tonight. That's a bar. But it's so fire. The, everything about this song, I'm talking about <laughs> just the song. The video in the dance practice and anytime I've seen them perform it just make me like it that much more. But yeah. everything about this song is perfect. All of the runs, everybody brought it. I absolutely love that song. Easily one of my favorite songs of the year, man. Shout out to Seraphim for Perfect Night. Shout Dude, some out. of the lyrics in that song are killer. Don't start blowing up my line. I'd care oh, at 1159. Oh. That's a great yeah. line. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. I swear. I love it. You want to go? No, I don't know. Listen, <laughs> I don't know. I am in between five songs. <laughs> I wish <laughs> I was kidding. Oh. I wish. Okay, can I choose one and give four honorable mentions? <laughs> Is that, can I, yeah. can I do that? Yeah. Everybody sure. broke one, but can I break one? <laughs> okay, I'm going to give, I'm going to start with the honorable mentions then. Perfect Night by La Seraphim, obviously. So, so, so good. It's such a feel good song. It's so, like, it works with everything. It is such a nice song. I love it so much. I loved Cupid, the twin version, obviously, by 5050. Uh, really sad what happened with the girls and the whole company and everything. I really hated that. But the song was such a hit. Like, I heard it everywhere. I was in a doctor's office. I heard it like, in the waiting room. I heard it here in Belgium in the waiting room. Like, it was a hit. It was a hit. It was everywhere. So, shout out to 5050. Um... <sighs> I'm have to choose a. I'm have to choose a. Thing. Choose! No, I don't. <laughs> I loved, I loved, I loved, I loved standing next to you. I loved it. I, uh, if anyone has seen our reaction video to that, yeah. you can tell how much I loved that song. It was amazing. It was very, 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 very good. It was so, so, so good. Um, but I don't know. I feel like my number one is just... It's just a song that I can't... I have to put them at first. And it's, it's XG, Shooting Star. Oh, damn Because it. we're allowed to do XG. Yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, and I know that it's not like their whole discography is in English, so I don't know if it 100% counts, but it's just, it's yeah. such a good song. Hmm. Does it count? If I could change my song, I'd change it to that. I mean, if we if you wanted to count, it counts. I was, was going to say it, so it has to count. <laughs> <laughs> because it's for me, it's the same. It's XG, Shooting Star. That was really, I liked XG so far, like everything that released. Was, I enjoyed it, but Shooting Star really made me go, holy sh... What is going on here? This is absolutely amazing. So yeah, Shooting Star. Um, and if it wasn't... If it wasn't allowed, then I would have picked Lucera from Perfect Night. Nice. Can I piggyback off of that? Shooting Star was mine, only because Is that because you did the choreography? Yes. And you did the... <laughs> You had to poke it out. I've been doing a lot of deadlifts. It's not a pokey out thing. It's just like, hey, I had to get strong. But uh, um, but yeah, learning that song was uh, was amazing, and hearing it over and over again, I just I couldn't get sick of it. So that was my song. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out, man. Well, mine was uh, J.K. standing next to you. Yeah. Um, got me in the chokehold. That's that's really all I can say about that. And Usher was just the icing on the cake for that. So but if go it was just a song, even if it was just a song with JK, he already had it. Cause 
just that that dance break. <laughs> Gosh. I mean, I'm supposed to be talking about a song, but still, the dance break mixed with the vocals and everything, amazing. Okay, I think uh I feel like um Definitely alike will appreciate this. I, I'm pretty sure this came out this year. Um, wait, let me check first. Did it come out? <laughs> I was trying to look crazy. Like okay, breaking. okay, cool, cool, cool. Ooh, okay. Because that was going to make this answer a lot harder. Um, I'm just going to say this just because he is technically from a K-pop group, even though he is Jackson. Jackson. not from Korea, but ah, it is Jackson Wang hey. and Sierra with Slow. <gasps> And that's my pick because I feel like like the like the junk cook thing, like that's the most beautiful thing for me is like two artists from completely different sides of the world, like showing appreciation for each other. And you can tell in Jackson, like, you know, he really again, he's another artist, probably historian, knows his music and stuff. Like Sierra was really iconic. Like, you know what I'm saying? She really dominated a lot of years, childhood years. Um, and just that, that was just a very, a very cohesive collab. They did the video. It was an ode to like, I, th- I believe it was an ode to like TLC's red light, red light, something like the silk, the silk, creep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Creep. Oh, it was creep. Um, and so oh, I just I love when like a bunch of different elements <laughs> like that come oh together. Because when I watched that video, I couldn't. I was like, "What is this reminding me of?" And then that's when I uh, saw people were talking about TLC. But um, yeah, I would say that right there. And then they performed on uh, live together. On Coachella, like, <laughs> and they shouted out XG, which was crazy. That's yeah. What's up. So yeah, I liked I liked they did a cover of of one of XG songs. Um, left, right, left. left, right. So yeah, I think yeah, left, right. Yeah. So yeah, I think that for me was like one of the biggest moments in all English song moments of the year. And Jackson just has had a hell of a like year or two, like especially in my eyes, like with God Seven being one of my favorite groups. Jackson has been on fire as a soloist. I guess Sosa <laughs> wants to change her answer. <laughs> Can I say something? Because we were going through this list, right? And when we got to here, I was like, oh, I want to pick Jackson. And she's like, but I said Magic Man. And then she was like, oh, Magic Man is from, is from too long ago, which is true. But it made me, like, scratch off Jackson off of the Wait, entire please. list because she said, like, oh, it's from too long ago. Because if so, I literally would have put him on this list number one. <laughs> Because yeah, it's yeah, yeah. 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 not my fault. <laughs> this is not my fault, girl. I see a lot of blame being shifted here. Right. <laughs> Look at me. I'm just saying she steered me in the wrong direction. Yeah, but that, yes. That song was crazy. It was everything. That the song, choreo, the no, vibe, everything. <laughs> that came out of nowhere for me. I was like, where, what? When did y'all when did y'all collaborate? When did you make the call? When did that even happen? Like all of a sudden people were just blowing up my phone like, why is he with Sierra on the stage in Coachella? What's going on? Ah! I'm sorry. I love Jackson. And that song was everything to me. You don't understand. It was everything to me. <laughs> Shout out to Jackson Wang. Jackson, I love you. Please come back. Ah, yes. Please look at your text messages. <laughs> <laughs> so next category, favorite performance, solo. Um, I, I guess I could go first. You want to go first? Okay. The slow dancing Mnet performance where he brought the dog out. Thank you. Look, I, <laughs> the reason dog, why... <laughs> The reason why I picked this performance is specifically we've been beefing on our reactions to Mnet performances about how crappy the audio sounds <laughs> yeah. and all of this stuff. But V comes up there and all of a sudden everything's fixed. <laughs> Audio's perfect. Y'all got a brand new stage. Y'all got water out there in the middle. Y'all letting the dog out on stage. No leash. 
<laughs> he sent Mnet into a whole new era of correct yeah. editing. <laughs> and that alone, you know what I'm saying? He he was smiling. Nice. Like I said, V don't smile a lot these days. He was smiling ear to ear. The dog was part of the performance. He didn't get stepped on by any of the people that came out to dance. <laughs> he was just wandering. The camera got some beautiful shots of that dog. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't say much more than that. That that was a great performance. I absolutely loved that. Can I? Was it the dog from the rainy days? MV was it? Yes, uh, I think it was, it was his dog. actor dog <laughs> that they brought in. <laughs> it might be his dog. No, it's his dog. Yeah, it was yeah. his dog. It's it's his dog. Well, I, yeah. I, I heard that that they couldn't use his actual dog, so they got. Yeah, that's what at least my comments told me is that oh, yeah. MV, they didn't yeah. use his actual. They dog. used another so uh, one in the music videos, but on stage it was actually his on dog. stage it was the actual dog. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. okay. I didn't okay. know about the music video, but on stage I was like, that has to be his dog. That's a good because if you got an actor dog that can listen that well, that's. <laughs> 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 but uh, but I'm with Dame. I got the same thing. I, I mean, I was telling the guys when V first dropped his first music video, he's wearing all gold in the cave, and everybody was like, oh man, it's not gonna be that good, right? I'm like, look, have faith in V. So. Um, yeah, that performance at the end sealed the deal for me with the dog. Shout out. Yeah. Great choices. That was one of my choices as well. Okay. <laughs> but um, what what really solidified my choice was uh, Jimin, Set Me Free. Yeah. Um, Ooh, yes. The performance <laughs> Mnet was ridiculous, and I already loved the music video so much, but that performance just turned it up a whole nother level. And it's just something about that whole performance where, like, it, the song speaks for itself, but the performances makes it so much more. And I just love that performance. I love it visually. I love everything about that aesthetically. I love it. Uh, quick and very solid answer. Taman's The Rizness performance video. It was art. Like, I still haven't. I don't know how <laughs> I was still breathing while watching the reaction. I mean, art doing the reaction. It was. It was just art. It, it's just nice to see Taman come back, like following advice, because advice is still one of my favorite choreographies of all time. So when he came back with Guilty, and then the Rizness came out, it was something so different for Taman for me, but it worked for me as well. Prince? That gets me really excited because I haven't listened to that song or the performance yet. Wow. And if you're likening somewhat to advice, advice is my favorite song. Oh, he murders that choreography. Yes. That That gets me excited. Mm-hmm. But I guess I, I could go next. My choice is his group member, uh, Onu, and his performance of his song Rain on Me on uh, oh, Music Bank. I seen that. <laughs> oh my God. Like, <laughs> just I, his yeah. voice is so fragile and shaky. And I'm a very sentimental person. And I also love the rain. <laughs> so, in the back <laughs> on the video screen, they have the rain falling down and the umbrellas popping up. And his voice is just so. Oh, like I said, he's like a ghost. And I watched that while doing the album reaction and totally cried to it. And there are a oh, handful wow. of songs that while reacting has have made me cry. And now that, that is one of them. His All performance right. is amazing. I'll write that down. I need to cry. Yeah. I was yeah. saying <laughs> right. I highly recommend it. If you want to cry, rain on me and buy Onu. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's a nice I, I just finished uh, my Mr. Decay drama on Patreon and I cried there. Uh, so now I can follow up with more crying to Onu. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna wanna okay okay we have the same one don't we no i'm gonna change oh you're gonna change okay <laughs> 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 um okay uh mine isn't a specific performance is every single performance that that this guy has done of this song um and it's dino wait uh <gasps> yeah i'm not dino surprised wait. i saw y'all's reaction <laughs> video <laughs> that was my second choice <laughs> <laughs> no just because yeah dino, dino is dino is an amazing amazing dancer and like we all knew um he always had like his little danceologies and i was always so excited to see like what are you gonna cook up for your solo like what choreo or what performance what are you gonna get for your solo and when i saw wade i was just yeah. yes the i couldn't speak there were no words because i was just like this is so dino and I'm still so happy to see this new side of Dino, I guess. It was so good. It, and I love it. It has like a, a certain, you know, when the beat drops and he goes like, I love, love, love that part. I love it so much. He pays attention to such like the details and all the thing. Like, oh, I love it. He's such a good, good performance. Yeah. And I, what I also love about 
that is that he's also very proud of it. He's so proud of he's it. He's so proud of it. Like if you watch the their seventeen's reaction to Dino's way, they put in little clips of him like they catch him still watching the screen because in the beginning he's just watching the members. Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> like he's watching himself. Like that's wait for the Oh, uh -oh. no. <laughs> oh. Autofocus. Okay, the camera's like the joke. Dino back. <laughs> Where does it's a joke Dino wherever back. camera ever glitches? Dino is a savior and yeah, now nah, Dino just glitched it. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I also picked a member of 17 and because I feel like he gets overlooked a lot. And it's June yeah. Psycho. Ugh, that was follow up with Taman for me. Psycho was, was so good. Psycho was so good. It, he showed a side of him that we did not expect at all. Like his facial expressions during the entire performance was just like he really embodied that like psycho feeling. Like was, I yeah. so, like yeah. as amazing he looked like at some point i was like bro are you okay like <laughs> what goes on <laughs> but yeah that was i just i just wish there was like more around it like it was just the music video and then nothing else like at least for limbo he had like another like uh performance that he did on like another channel but now for psycho i don't think that there was anything else other than like the music video and then the i think he had a the dance practice i didn't think we watched anything we didn't watch but i didn't yeah. see that he performed where did he perform it I something i need to oh yeah, yeah but i mean like in south korea like a thing so yeah i think june is very like obviously he's from performance unit but like still like he he's a lot more shine he's a lot more like uh props so yeah june june 8, mm -hmm. june 8. i would okay i kind of want to like break the rule because and say a subunit <laughs> of a group because I don't really have like a that's still a group. Solo group. It's still a group. It's still a group. Yeah. No, but isn't it, isn't this like favorite solo? Yes. Technically. Well, you know yeah. what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying though. But like, it's this like, one is yeah. This one is solo. Yeah, this one's solo. But like, I have like a specific. Group. Just say like a yeah, fan cam or someone. Or a fan cam on somebody. Them. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I'll say. Okay, so I'll say the fan cam of <laughs> Sana from Misa Mo Do Not Touch. Mm. Mm. And the reason I'll say that is because I think with I think that release was one of the best releases of the year. Definitely. That was like they were like that was very Do Jung ish kind of like that three member, like they killed it. Oh, yeah. And I kind of honestly forgot a little bit. I had them written down like at the bottom of my notes, but I saw that when I, I scrolled down accidentally, I was like, oh damn, I haven't said anything about them this whole time. But like they they were very fire. I liked the, the concept of the song. The styling was amazing. I think it's probably better that I did it like with Sana because I think Mina and Momo are main dancers of the group. Um, those two and Geo get a lot of attention for dancing, but I think Sana is one of those idols. Doesn't matter who your bias is, she's a wrecker, and I think that she's <laughs> another so one of those idols that like she's always in a good mood. She always is like like lifts your personality, like your your vibe up when you see her. But I think because of that and because of like the whole visual thing, she doesn't give credit for her dancing. Mm -hmm. And if you watch Twice's dance practices, she catches my attention every time, like as a group or anything. And she's a lot, she has a lot more like sauce than you would think because of the way they're portrayed. But when you watch their dance practices, Sana is like very on point. Um, so I think, yeah, I would say Sana's, like, if she, like, if they have, like, a specific, like, fan cam of that, it would be hers from uh, Misa Mo's Do Not Touch because yeah. she, all three of them killed it, but I think she personally doesn't get enough credit for her dancing because Twice's choreography is not easy. So, um, I, I can't they have watch very small fan cams. They have very intricate group choreography. Um, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
for my health. I just I can't watch me some old fan cam. So <laughs> I'm sure it exists, but I refuse. <laughs> We're watching our blood pressure this year. <laughs> Damn. Some All right, best group performance. Can I go first? I have a I have one that I'm very okay. Uh, my favorite group performance again is not a specific. Um, performance or anything but i really really love aspa's drama like the whole yeah, that's good one. that song is amazing by the way i haven't got a chance to talk about it but i love 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 that song it was it's so so good but the performance of it oh my goodness oh my goodness like everything the whole from the beginning till the end everything if i say winter you know exactly what moment i'm talking about like that just says how iconic that performance is you know so definitely drama for me so because when i made this list i didn't really understand what it means like faith performance from a group and then it just hit me right now like oh no i gotta write down something else because i'm thinking about like a no 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 i was just my nose was itching <laughs> <laughs> i thought you were saying there's like shit on your nose you need to hurry up and scratch that off <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Anyways, from us nine attitude. I don't know which performance it was that we watched yeah. last. Yeah. Um, they did like a, yeah. it's like an award. So they did like a real remix type of thing, like a uh, in the like red. Yeah, they re and... yeah they yeah. rearranged that one. Or was it the one where they looked like mermaids, like sirens? Which one? Because we did both them back them. to back. Both, both of them. Both of them. Both of them. Listen, I, my sexuality yeah. was very much fixed, <laughs> very much fixed, but from us nine, my goodness, attitude, oh, that song is just, from us nine in general is very much slept on, yeah. and yes, uh -huh. the mismanagement with that group is unreal, like, I don't know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on because I'm really not that deep in the fandom. I'm just like literally like enjoying them like on my own without being a f really deep into the flubberness of it all. So like, I don't know what's going on, but that, oh, wow. What an album. What a, perf that performance alone, that song alone carried, mm -hmm. carries yeah. like, uh, yeah, from us nine attitude. Pick whatever performance you want; mm -hmm. it will hit every single time. Damn. Visual nine. Yeah. Visual, gonna, nine. Gonna, Visual nine. Visual nine. Yeah, I'm gonna, Visual I'm gonna, nine. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna piggyback on that because if I'm talking about like just the actual like performance of a song, yeah, from us nine attitude. Like I'm, I'm like another person of like, I just don't understand how they're not bigger than what they are. Um, attitude, especially because they have two other B sides that it's like a trilogy for me. They have Escape Room Ooh, and they have Escape Rewind. So Escape Room and Rewind, where oh, they do like the the mature throw a suit on, you know, the the crop top under the suit and everything. It's like the grown vibe. Um, and an attitude to be able to add on to a specific vibe every album is like truly special um and yeah they have another alt of mind serum i just think that they like they're just very special i mean they have trainees from other major groups i think like uh you got like a trainee from yg you have trainees from jyp stuff like that so you can see that in what they do um but yeah that's like performance wise but again, I saw Mama Moo live this past year. So that would be, I know we were talking about at the beginning, uh, Dame said it could be concerts as well. So like from a concert standpoint, Mama Moo was amazing. They sound better than their than their songs. They they sound amazing. Hwasa, Hospital Bills, <laughs> Hospital Bills, Hospital Bills. <laughs> um, yeah, literally all of them. They're like a group where it's like, I have a bias one day and then it's like, are you sure that you're biased? Because, you know, like we in Moon, Solar, they're all extremely special in their own way. But yeah, like from a single performance standpoint, it would be from his nine. 
but seeing Mama Moo in concert was an amazing experience as well um, this past year. So shout out to them. It for me was also kind of a killer type performance, like the Promos Nine one, and I went with uh, BBG's Untie performance video, mm. which yes. is just a banger. Yes, I mean, I feel like this group has been yeah. waiting for like that breakout moment of where it's like it's not just like the buddies from the G Friends, you know, fandom kind of comes in and 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 supports them, but people notice and like they're put on notice, and this was it. Not only the comeback because Maniac also banger, so mm -hmm. good. But Unhai was just really it. It really wasn't. Unha is my bias in, in that group, but boy, does Umji just bring it, bring it uh, mm -hmm. in the Unhai performance. You get your cold Ice Princess Sinbi looks uh, per usual. They all just did such a great job. I love the way it's filmed, um, and the choreography is just fantastic. So that one's my choice. Good choice. Well, my uh, honorable mention is for sure Misamo, Do Not Touch. Any performance is just the choreography. I feel like it was uh, so customized for the genre that Misamo, like, I always, I think I said this in a reaction video. I said that if ballerinas decided to become idols instead, that's what it would be. Like, they came oh. off so graceful. So and, cute. like, their extension is just so beautiful. Like, I, I, I think another thing I said was if these sculptures could come alive and dance, oh. that's what they are. So that's honorable mentions, but as far as like the my favorite performance would be XG's Hesanu and X Gene. Because of them doing the whole umbilical cord and DNA yeah. strand concept. Oh, yeah. And starting with like and yeah, starting with them on the floor, they came alive, then went right into X Gene and they had their own little segments. It I thought it was just beautiful. I'm going so to right. piggyback so right, right off of that. Uh, XG. <laughs> uh, yeah. For the same exact reason. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh my goodness. And yeah, I can't say nothing better than Tina said. And they were blindfolded. Like, they yeah, were blind yes. all that. They <laughs> were together. Oh my God. XG is insane. Yeah. Well, I, I guess I go next. I, I'm picking a concert. Yeah. Um, and and the reason why I gotta pick this is like I know all I talk about on the channel, it sounds like is the new James Lollapalooza concert. But that twice ready to be show here in Atlanta, man. Yeah. When I'm just telling you, like that moment, man, like there was so many moments. Like when Gio goes into her Phil special moment, we didn't get to see it because Ooh, the band oh, messed up and went right into yeah, the song too was... quick. But she just kept it pushing. She ain't miss a beat. You know what I mean? The nightmare performance she gave us, uh, all of the songs they did, the solo songs, the way these dudes fell out of their chairs when Momo <laughs> climbed up. Because oh, right. we saw this concert before we saw the concert. And I'm talking about, they were like, I think Ace was like literally losing it. Like, he was just like, oh, hold up. No, she ain't. And Ace and Bang Bang is just like, bro. I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Just that uh, Jung Young doing the Lizzo joint. Some of y'all oh didn't get to see that because oh. she changed. The world, but she killed that. Yeah. Uh, Mina doing Ariana Grande Seven Rings. Oh like, my god! That Damn, was cool. Mina. But and I'll just never forget. Like it's pouring down, raining. It's yeah. raining. Say, G on the rain should be illegal. Y'all like, want to do another song? No, okay, cool. They were leaving. <laughs> Shay Young was walking back up the stage. They were like, "Yo, this is it. Bye. Yeah. It's raining. We got to end the show." And Gio's like. We could do two more songs. <laughs> and I just, I, I never forget the way Che Young looked back at her like, you mother. <laughs> like, <we're> getting... <laughs> oh, oh, that was yeah. so hilarious. But yeah. either way, man, it was like one of the most memorable. I was a wreck after that show. It was a long ride home. Like, I I, I don't, I, I slept with adrenaline that day. Slept <laughs> with adrenaline? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I was destroyed after that concert. I, I can't I find a photo now, episode. but. I put a before after photo, like before, you know, <laughs> put together that. after. I look like I don't know, like I was twenty and I went clubbing for the first time and took like a shot. <laughs> like that's what I looked like. I was a mess. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately for my date, they uh I think it was COVID or something, there was illness, so Chung Yun and, and Diane couldn't oh, perform. Yeah. Oh. But I had seen them the previous year, thankfully, all together, but that the ready to be was still killer. When they were up on those big 
iron like steel structures and spinning them around as they like lay back on these things was wow. just so so crazy um great great I like it's so different like we were talking earlier about you seeing when i saw like pixie and you see them in like a bar atmosphere and yeah. it's really cool and nice mm-hmm. and close and then this is just all just pizzazz and yeah. production value and jyp going crazy um and it's just two equally awesome experiences in different ends of the spectrum mm-hmm. yeah like twice's go hard performance with the silhouette mm-hmm. that was so yeah. impactful oh man yeah. Like even before the show started, the the pictures that they put of everybody up that were folding through the screen was just like wow. Yeah. yeah. So they had their they had their banners along the edge of the concourse of the arena. You had big banners of each member or whatever. Some dude, maybe in like, I don't know, mid forties or whatever, just walked up to one and just pulled down Mina and just put him in his bag. Put her in oh, his bag. And I was like, they weren't gonna stop this. You just stole Mina. Oh Damn. my god. <laughs> It's so weird. And I was like, what okay. The hell? You didn't hear the song. Right, though, do not like, touch. I know. Yeah, right? Do not touch. <laughs> do not touch. You can watch me, but you can't touch me. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Mina. Well, I say for me, uh, I think I did the question wrong, but uh, <laughs> I actually, I think I did, but I did the League of Legends performances. Oh, that's fine. That's oh, that's fine. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. For what? For uh, new jeans? The new jeans one. Oh, there's another one as well. The yeah. job with Beck Young, Toby Lou. Yeah, Steel. That, that was amazing mm-hmm. too. But mm-hmm. just just that excitement, like even during our uh, reaction, we was like amazed by how yeah. well that was. So that's what I put down on my list. That was an amazing performance. Yeah. yeah. Favorite idol. So I got a question. I'll go first on mine. <laughs> I didn't even know if this person. I got two answers just in case. Does this person count count, count as an idol? Mine was Lee Young G. That's fine. Mm. Okay. All right. I just wanted to make sure. Because I loved her this year. I felt like she, everywhere she popped up, she just gave people <laughs> a spark of energy. And, you know, of course, you know, fighting. You know, everything. Yeah. And just everything, her show, all that. I feel like she's been the most entertaining idol of That's the solid. year for me. Yeah. So, yeah, that was my choice. Yeah. I picked uh Pick V, man. I was sorry. I played that album way too many times. So I just went with V. Sorry. I didn't go based off music. I I went based off content and entertainment and how much I've learned about idols. I went with Qjin of NMix. I love the fact that she goes live. There's she went live and she goes live from time to time and she just dances Damn. for hours. Really? Yes. Oh, I'm just like, yo, like, <laughs> yo, go, go <laughs> online. I had to show 1080p go online and look at how fast she learned Natty's choreography for sugar coated. Yeah. For she sugar coat. Hell yeah. She killed that. She watched it twice. Like she watched it one time, watched it a little bit more stop. Tried to do it, forget something, watched it again, and then came back and did the whole thing. Full and court. the whole oh, like like the, the dance break out. part. Okay, okay. And she was in there. She did it. She did like a two hour live. Just fans in a comment do this choreography, and she would go watch it. She's like a damn machine. She watched the choreography, turn around, come to the camera, and do it. And I'm just like, how? How are you doing this? I'm gonna have to check that. You're, out. Like you're literally like AI. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And not only wow, that, that's, like that's that dance crew me- muscle memory training right there. Absolutely. And we saw him live in 1080p can attest. Q Jin is just is different when she performs. Like when you watch Love Me Like This at the end when uh Lily's hitting that note oh, and yeah. Q Jin has the blast through the middle yeah. in front of everybody live. Like I just felt the impact. I'm like just like, yo, why is she going so hard? And she's singing live. Everybody in Mix is singing live, but it's just something about Q Jin. That's great. I just feel like she's gonna be huge. Like the same way we were talking about Legion and Itzy when they first came out, I'm getting that times two. I know people ain't gonna like that I said that. I'm getting that like times two with Qjin. Like she is just so good at what she does. I don't know who wants to go next. <laughs> I didn't know we were supposed to look outside of music. Oh, you can move now whatever that, you want. Yeah. No, no, now that you, <laughs> now that you say it like that, it's like. Oh. It opens it. So, it opens it up. Like, buy it stuff. This is this is the fandom side. Oh, so wait, are we? 
Because that means something else I mean, again. I, I, I think I think you could make it that. I think you could make it, okay, make now here's, here's my yeah. fangirl fanboy side. Mm. I think you could do that. Yeah, like who who should, you can make it your who's your favorite idol in general? Like yeah. that's I, what like, I'm gonna I do. Pick my own scenario and just went with it. So, like he went favorite off. Favorite idol in <laughs> general is Jackson Wang, but like I think we have Jason <laughs> off 2023. Yeah, off 2023. Off 20. Ooh. Like who rose? Who rose the most in your list? I guess you could look at it that way. Oh, ah, for me, that's that, that's some, so it'll always be OT five for sure. So just confirming that. But for me, the idol that really rose out of nowhere is Cheryong from Itzy. Oh, blasted through the roof out of nowhere. And then I watched her uh, Cheryong goes to college series, and she's really funny. She's really yes, she funny is. and just quirky. So yeah, Cheryong for me. Her show young bias since day one. Me too. <laughs> Her sense of humor is, is impeccable. Yeah. Okay, well, I, I guess I could go in. in the <laughs> so someone, someone that I guess maybe didn't raise up my list dramatically, but just confirm the spot of like my favorites is is Chaewon of La Seraphim. Mm. Chaewon is so likable. She's so I want to just put her in my pocket. She's so oh, cute. She's so my cool, algorithm, man. my algorithm is just force feeding me La Seraphim, especially Chaewon content, and I'm like totally okay with that. Um, and the show, if you have not seen it, Hemelie Chepa, where she's on there um, uh, with Yena and Haiti of Girls Day and uh, oh, wow. Mian of Idol, a bunch of other idols. Hemelie Chepa. It is the best variety show I've oh, watched. It came out last years. year. <laughs> yeah, it's all their names combined. They ah. go basically. They go into a house where there's nothing, and they have to perform tasks related to like picking out like K-pop songs off of one second, or or knowing the choreography off of like just a verbal description of it. Um, <laughs> and then they accrue money that then they buy a couch or food Wait, or a rice cooker. I swear, K-pop variety that. shows are so. Yep. <laughs> Okay. Yep. And so then they have to crazy. Out- so then by the end they have to outfit their whole apartment with all of these things. It's already been confirmed for season two. So Sounds like the got, you know, right. I'm, like, like, I'm gonna message you for a link or something. I yeah, wanna please, yeah, yeah, yeah. please DM us. I watched it, <laughs> watch it on, on, on Vicky is where I watched it. Mm. Um okay. which I'm sure a lot of you have watched stuff on Vicky before, but it's so good and I highly re- recommend it. Just instant serotonin. Mion also adorable on that show, but um yeah. Really great, and Chaewon just kind of solidified it there with that show because she gets really frustrated and angry a lot Cute. on that show, like really mad, and I just love it. So <laughs> yeah, she's, she's my choice. Yeah, she's adorable, and I saw the whole Hive and Game Caterers thing. She was adorable in that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep. yeah, she was great in that. So oh, so 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 like what you got, man? I, th- I feel like life. Man, I'm over here. <laughs> oh, my oh, oh, boy, my answer just ping pong to ten different people. <laughs> they, they, uh, they at that moment where the teacher's like, "All right, everybody, turn in a test," and I'm like, "Shit." Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> nah, this the moment when, like, before the test, they're like, "Okay, you can add uh, five more terms to your cheat sheet," and I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> damn." Uh, I'm gonna do man, look. That's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a male and a female again. <laughs> I'm gonna do Jung Woo from NCT. Oh, he's so chaotic. I love that. Um, because he rose for me again. He got overshadowed a lot early on, but then I went back and I I think his debut uh, era was Boss. Mm-hmm. I think. And like going back, I'm like, damn, how did I not realize this dude went so hard? Like he was going hard. Like super hard, um, but yeah, he he rose a lot for me from a definitely from a performance and dancing aspect, um, and then yeah, girl group wise, I'm gonna say Chisa from XG hey. um, because I think with them as a group, it's just hard to just pick. But I think early on, Kokona, Jurin. And Harvey were like my the first three people I noticed. Maya is my bias, um, but like I just think when like you just think about like vocals and just like I've seen some of her individual vocal stuff, and I think she's very valuable to the group because she gives them that like maturity vocally. Um, 
Jerry and Hinata are good vocally as well, but Chisa's voice, like, I'm interested to see how she's going to develop vocally in the next year or so, because I just think her voice is already very mature. And I think it's just going to be even more, that puts them in an ability to make certain types of music because of how much soul she has in her voice. Um, it's almost like, like similar to like a Wendy situation, how much soul like Wendy sings with at times puts red velvet in certain pockets Mm -mm. that other people can't go. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would say Chisa because at the same time as a performer and as a dancer, she's on point as well. And like I said, if you haven't seen the documentary, watch it. Like she, they, they, you know, she goes crazy. So it, yeah, I would say those two really rose for me from like the time that I discovered them. Is Chisa the one that fell? Yeah, yeah she's that. the one that was dancing and fell hard as hell. Poor baby. <laughs> Poor baby. And they were like, Chisa, are you okay? <laughs> and she's like, help me. Yeah, Chisa. And she's hilarious too. She's another one of those idols that's just like, that's like super funny. funny. Yeah. Like they all are XG, but she's hilarious. Mm-hmm. Well, she is. Uh, is am I last? Are we last? Yes. Did I think I, everyone went. Everybody yeah. went. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> anyway, I had a solid answer, but you guys made me change my mind a couple of times. I think I'm still gonna go with my initial answer because you know it's, it's it kind of checks off all the boxes that you guys mentioned. Which is uh, Dino from Seventeen. <laughs> Not a surprise, I know. Uh, <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like he just really, he's been an idol that's been very, very consistent this year, especially. Um, but also because I really, you know, Seventeen, like I said, my favorite boy group right now. And they've been, they've been active and they've been, you know, doing a lot of stuff. And I feel like, Dino, like when it comes to uh, going Seventeen, he has become such a main character in the Going 17 series. Like, he is so funny. Like, I laugh my ass off, genuinely. And I'm not someone that's like, I don't laugh easily at stuff that I just see online, you know? But Dino, Dino makes me laugh so bad. And he makes me cry. But anyway, um, <laughs> Dino is really, really, like, I, yeah, I've been, uh, he's been also, he's also, he's always been high, but I feel like this year he's gotten mm, true, even true, higher. True. Yeah. So I was able to knock you gum off your uh, wallpaper on your phone. So yeah, but you gum still my baby. I I don't play about you gum. So don't don't I'm say that. Saying, People like, are gonna get the wrong message. Whose photo card is here? You know, but who's my wallpaper? You gum. You gum. So don't don't play with you gum. But I also really love Maya, and Maya is also really rising. But my yeah, initial answer same. is still Dino. Mm-hmm. Dino. So I'm I'm just gonna go male and female. No, okay, Maya then, also, for me. (laughs) XG Maya, because I was Juden biased, but Maya came, and now I'm Juden and Maya biased, because Maya is kick-ass. Like, that girl is insane. Sorry. So, so for female... Female (laughs) faith idol 2023, that's easy for me. It's Sugi. She really is just, wow, everything, and I don't know if I want to be with her or be her. Like, it's... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> both of them um yeah she's just i don't know she takes the box and everything i just love that whenever they do I, i've been starting watching their um red velvet's content as well too and it's just like whenever they're doing something she's just so focused on the food which is kind of sad but also i would really love <laughs> in a way like like baby why aren't you feeding you like eat please eat just please eat and it's just like keep... that's really an issue with is it, velvet, but it's, anyway. yeah it's really they keep making like the the biting sounds i'm like girl eat up enjoy it enjoy <laughs> life have you, got, have you gotten to drunk soggy rolling down the hill yet no what? Just, hilarious i just never for that. The cutest, that's the cutest just video for that. i think they that's go the to cute- they go to a winery, I think, and they're drinking yeah, yeah. outside on the on like a hilltop, and she's just like, I'm about she's to. Lost. Okay. Oh <laughs> my that god, down. that's gonna be so good. And she and she's really trying to convince them that she's not dr- like she's yep. like I'm not drunk. And she's <laughs> all, that's how you she's know you're drunk. She's oh. red, like super red. Oh, god. That's a uh, level up season two, I think. I'm, I'm in season sure, two, and they're about to go to a winery. Two. That's ah. it. So yeah. that's it. Oh my god, I'm gonna have so much fun. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, Sugi, definitely. Fave male idol. Um, before y'all started confusing me, 
I was like, okay, based on the music and everything, and just like going off into my 2023 playlist, what Apple Music curated for me, and was like, this is your most list solo artist, blah, 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 Jaehyun. But then y'all start saying, oh, bias, um, rising. <laughs> rising, and stuff outside of music. Sorry, Jaehyun, baby. I love you so much, but it is Sunquan for me. Like 17 okay. Sunquan. I don't yeah, know what do. happened in 2023. Yeah. This man has been through it a lot, a lot, and he is still able to be there, still standing. Like mm-hmm. you can tell that he's very much still searching in his life, like what his what his position is, what does he bring to his team, what does he bring to life, who he has as who he is as a person and he's just really sharing that journey with us like through like um 17 in the soup uh mm-hmm. season two yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. um and then also just like the things that he shares during his lives he's very also open about the girl groups that he loves like his shout out to Dreamcatcher and to us as well it's like amazing <laughs> um but like i just think it's so it's so especially in because there are like the I guess we can already start saying older generation of K-pop idols <laughs> where <laughs> where it wasn't really like I think it's now more open like open up where you're allowed to like share your emotions and share that you're you're struggling and it's not really like frowned upon like I think it's very cool that he's like just let it, letting everybody know like you know I'm struggling and and mm. And I'm taking time to myself and like everybody is supportive of it, of, of, of him taking time off because he was really struggling with this weight on the shoulder. And then obviously, you know, when you're like the class clown or you're like the clown of the group, it's oftentimes those people that are carrying the hardest, the largest burden or that are struggling a lot. And him opening up about like these two things and also saying like you know what i also don't want to be looked at as like the clown always like and i know everybody goes to me for vocals but i also want to show that like you know what i am also an amazing dancer doing the danceology with dino and then just like um just also like you know i'm also handsome i'm also sexy i want people to also tell tell me that i'm like um good looking and stuff and not just mm-hmm. just like funny and him really stepping into his own i think that is so amazing and just like i don't know i really love him and i hope everything so goes fun. good with him in life and just like him like recently i'm so scared to watch it like releasing that cover that tribute to movement like i it's just oh. like so much and i just don't I like how do you juggle all of those real life problems while also being very much in the spotlight especially in a group like 17 where they really rely on sun Quan a lot even though he's one of the maknes he's like very much like i would, wouldn't say like a leader role but very much like a, a pillar for everybody to yeah. support on yeah. despite the fact that he's so young so it's just like all the all those things combined. I really want to hug this little tangerine and say like, oh. "You're doing so well. Please don't be too hard on yourself. Please mm-hmm. don't feel like you need to change and to like fit into a mold or something. You are good on your own, and everything you're doing is amazing. And I love you so much, sweetie. You're doing <laughs> amazing, sweetie. Like, not only that, but like just amazing. going through what he has but also returning to an industry where your face is positivity you have to be positivity yes. and put on a a facade that might not be there in the moment but he he's my bias too i love him he's the most put together unput together person i've ever <laughs> seen in my life he's both like comedy and tragedy just combined into one person yeah. and i love that i feel the existential anxiety emanating off of him but it's also kind of just his fun quirkiness mm-hmm. he's he's the best and yeah I, I also just hope the best for him mm-hmm. okay <laughs> next category is best album favorite favorite album favorite there you go. <sighs> album of 2020 uh, zone for me Geo's zone. Good <laughs> call. They, All well, her songs were in my top ten, so oof, that wow. was solidified for me. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna climb on. Uh, you know, Thena's back with this one. Uh, I will say that <laughs> um, everybody uh, kind of had their moment where they went off script a little bit. Yeah. I will say I don't think Geo's album 
was the best album. It was my favorite. I will say, I think the best album of the year was AT's. Oh, it's around here somewhere. It's on one of these walls. AT's album. Uh, I think AT's new album is absolutely crazy. I can't even remember what it's called. It's part two Will. of the. Show. It's uh, episode Finn Will. Yeah, Finn yeah. part two something like it's. They names be confusing. Yeah. Me. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah. The album names be confusing me. I just call it by the title track. <laughs> and even all the album art looks exactly the damn same, so you can't yeah. go by yeah. 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 that one, right? Yeah, that one. The okay. world, Finn, the world, the red one. Finn will. Yeah, okay. yeah. that album. It's, it's on one of these walls. Oh yeah, it's right behind Bang Bang, right there. Uh, that <laughs> album. I think that's the best album of the year. But Geo's was my favorite album, partially because Ten AP played it upstairs every single day since I've been working from home. <laughs> uh, I hear it all the time, and it's undeniable. I, I absolutely, and I was so ecstatic that Geo's album came out. And that it didn't necessarily sound like all twice music. It sounded like yeah, it it sounded like her without sounding like the rest of her group. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it sounds incredible. And I watched the making of the album, and she was extremely hands on. And mm -hmm. I'm extremely proud of her for what she put together. Mm -hmm. Anybody picking back me off, Dame? I don't want to interrupt nobody. <laughs> no, no. Okay, I got a uh, shiny. All right, oh, good stuff. My favorite yeah. album of the year. Um, it says it in my iTunes, um, you know, most played of the year. Um, I played it a lot. Uh, but just even that, um, I just felt like, you know, Shiny did OGs in the game. And they came back and said, oh, no, we, we ain't just OGs. We're going to keep it up with y'all, too. So I, I feel that the most from them. And I just love the album as a whole. Like, there was a time where I couldn't pick a favorite, but. I probably still can't pick a favorite, but, um, you know, I have like a top three, top yeah. five or a top 10, but, um, I love shiny. So yeah, shout out to shiny. <laughs> yeah. Too, too many good projects, man. I, I really struggle on this one, but the one, the one I listened was, was, was B. B. I tried, you know what I'm saying? Like I listened to everything, but I kept going back to the V album. Um, so it's B, it's B for me. Nice, so. nice, nice. Every time Ben Ming speaks, it starts off with an apology. I don't know. Like, <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Uh. <laughs> don't be sorry. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, who's Jack? You? I, I guess I'll go. No one. Mm -hmm. Uh, Doje John. <laughs> Let me keep it simple. They just they. I mean, yeah. I didn't. I didn't know what to expect with that lineup. And uh, again, I, the Jay Young Awakening for me has been like a year and a half in the making. And. Uh, yeah, that I mean, like I said, that like that that's like a release where all three members elevated themselves from where I had them, and to be in such a big group, um, and take three members and put them off to themselves, and they elevate like that. I think that's all you can ask for when you do a subunit. I think that that's the quintessential like when you do a subunit, that's what you want right then and there. Um, and yeah, that was, I mean, top to bottom from the performances, from the styling, from the dance, the choreography, like they didn't miss a step at all with that. Like, I really, I really hope we get another yeah. Doje Jung. Like, they're up there with just two for me. Oh, oh with Yu <laughs> and that's like my favorite subunit ever. Like, oh, Yu Gilman and, and, J and uh, JB. And like yes. Doje Jung is like right there with them, so that that, that speaks so true, though. values. Because I hope they're they're like groups that I hope comes back with like their yeah. own thing again. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's gonna be their album for me. Just two's coming back, by the way. Oh, they are needed, and and Yu Gi Oh is coming back too. I think you just uh, for you about to have an album anyway. <laughs> needed. Big up for album twenty fourth of February, y'all. Oh yes, let's go. Yeah. 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 Um, my fave album is also what I consider the best album, which is Red Valve's Chill Kill. 
I already talked about it previously and it's just, <laughs> I, it's too good. <laughs> it's it's too really good. good. It's too good. Like, <sighs> get my girls out the dungeon, please. <laughs> I felt all that. <laughs> they just need a tour. Just tour the U.S., please. I Irene was Wait. asked like two days ago, and she was like, "Nah, there's no plans to go to the U.S. in 2024." Yeah, that sucks. Like, what? Oh, dude, she said that? What? Yeah, she said that in a in a video fan call. Damn, that hurts. Could be a lie. Who knows? Oh, yeah, right. I hope so. I hope so because that whole two weeks notice before coming to Europe was crazy. Mm. We couldn't go. That was that was tragic. So was tragic. the fact that there's no like prospect of even us trying to go to the to the U.S. to catch red velvet. Okay. <sighs> yeah. Mm. My um. <laughs> I have two. <laughs> That, that's not what best means. <laughs> <laughs> what am <I'm> kidding? <laughs> that's how I feel right now. No, okay, 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 okay. The best album in my okay, I'm gonna do best and favorite. No. <laughs> I have to I have to mention these two. I have to. My my, my What's your favorite? My favorite album is August D's Z Day. Mm. Because wow. I loved, I loved, I loved, again, I love that album so much. It's a very beautiful, well-crafted album. Album um, goes through several emotions. Jungi is a genius. Snooze is one of the most heart-wrenching, mm. beautiful songs I've ever heard in my life. Uh, so, yeah, definitely that one. And Chilka Vera Velvet is the best album I have heard in a hot minute. That's album, like... The soul, like the individuality of each song, is just insane. No, Chilka, like the individuality of each song and how perfect each and every single song is on that album is so crazy that I couldn't not mention it. I'm so sorry for breaking the rules so many times today. <laughs> um, I hope you guys can all forgive me, but I just had to say, like these two albums have really, wow. Gotcha. <laughs> I promise that I do yeah, really have five B-sides, though. Not more. <laughs> well, that was a hard uh, one. Okay. Uh, I guess I could go next. Um, ooh, I, this was tough. I thought this year had a lot of really great albums, um, and it was really tough to pick one. But then looking at the songs and like how top tier some of these are on my list, I had to choose this one, and that's Triple S's Assemble album. Uh, <laughs> it is, man. It is so good. And I had a real chip on my shoulder with this group in the same vein as like idol to where I was like a really big CLC fan. And I'm like, you know, screw this group idol. Why didn't CLC get this kind of you know, promotion? <laughs> and it's the same ship on my shoulders where I'm a huge Luna fan. And I'm like, ah, oh, Jaden's got this new group and it's going to have oh. 28 members and all this. And I'm like, yeah. screw this. And then I listened to it and I liked the album, but it was, it was with a different mindset that I was first listening to a toxic one. And I come back to it. And I'm like, this album is so good. This album is so, so good. Beam, starts it off one of my favorite songs of the entire year colorful incredible new look is so good they just were chosen and performed that for the youth olympics in korea just this past week um, oh, it's super wow. cool that they were able to do that uh they also per did a performance video of that song like ot20 once they had 20 members um <gasps> it, they're 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 so good i know that's that's a lot but like they're so individually distinct that you really do learn them quite quickly um yeah. But Definitely. their production team just does not miss. The type of music they make is just stuff that is for me. Um, and this album has way too many high points on one mini to not make it my favorite album of the year. I, I want to comment on that because that album was amazing. And if we had a best song category of the year, it would most likely be Rising because that song is amazing to me. And I, I love that song. So yeah, Triple S. They're killing it. See, it would have been girls' capitalism for me. Mm, so I just let you know how, how much they, yeah. they they got a discography on them yeah. early. Yeah, to put it into perspective for me, Rising is my least favorite title track of theirs. Oh and wow! It's yeah, and it's still really good. That's just saying it's my yeah, like, least yeah. favorite of you know. They're they're killing it. Yeah. All right, next category is top five B sides. Of 2023, I guess Ace is ready to get started with this one. Mm -hmm. I am. I really am. 
I, I, I really had to put this into a perspective. It was hard, but when I got it, I was like, yeah, this, this is good. This is good. Okay. Whew. So no particular order, but first I got shiny satellite. Satellite is amazing. Okay. Just, just mwah. next I got NCT Doje Jong dive. <sighs> dive. Dive? Yes. Okay. Y'all nine? Okay. All right. Yep. Yep. Dive. 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 <laughs> it's cold, right? <laughs> Make sure. 17. I don't understand, but I love you. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. yeah um, so got the beat. Rose. Uh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then last, but totally not least, Dreamcatcher Rising. <sighs> oh, my oh my god. <laughs> and those are my five. Nail on the head. I go, okay. Hey, look, I go, I go zoom through mine. All right, so I don't even know if these are B sides, but I'm going to say mine. Uh, <laughs> I get confused with that. All right, so XO, let me in. Um, mm. Geo, closer. Okay. That made me um, cry. <laughs> uh, XG, left, right. Um, mm. Does that count? Not really, but yeah, then we're gonna keep it going. <laughs> we got let's we got we got La Seraphim, Eve Psyche, the that don't count, dude. I know. Not I know. Really. Okay, it's a B side, isn't it? Not really. That's a B side. That's a B side. Yeah. Of, that's, a B -side. that's a B side. It wasn't the title. Okay. It's like an eighty nine percent. Yeah. But, but uh, and then I got uh, twice wallflower. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Nice. That's nice. Uh, for me, I got got the beat rose. 100%. Uh, next up, I just put anything from Zyker that's not a music <laughs> video. I really enjoy yeah, all yeah. of their B-sides. They're chaotic. It makes you want to lift 10 <laughs> times the amount of weight <laughs> you're capable so of lifting yes. while you're in the gym. Uh, mm. I got Nmix, my gosh. Um, I absolutely love the oh, way no, the I vocals on this oh, song. No! Uh, yeah. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Thena mentioned. I told you this one was gonna hurt. This is gonna be the one that hurts. Oh some man, you're so. right. Thena mentioned this one earlier, uh, and that's "Idol." Flip it. That song is absolutely Ooh. insane. Uki rapping, her tone incredible, and uh, man, we we wild out to this one when we did our listening party. But NCT, you call D. Oh, oh that's, no, right. that's right. <laughs> that joint right there. Yeah. I tell you, man. Yeah. Just call D. Yeah. That that's song right. is crazy. Nice, nice. That was beautiful. Oh man, you got me. With, oh my gosh. Oh, it's just my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm I'm just singing the lyrics though. Like, oh. I'm gonna need everybody's uh, B sides again after this. After <laughs> to yeah, same, 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 same. Yeah. Let's put them in the I'll, Discord. Who did y'all go? Yeah, we yeah. Yeah, no, you can go. You can go. You can go. Uh, okay. Mine is uh. This was hard as hell. This is the hardest one. Um, mine is, um, I don't know if this one counts, Stray Kids Top Line. Yep. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's was that a time cool. track? That's a B-side. Yeah. It's a B-side. <laughs> right, yeah. Top Line, crazy. <laughs> crazy. Like, I felt so attacked <laughs> the whole song. Um, I'm going to say... Uh, Natty Sugar Coat. Mm. Oh, that was my song Tony. of the year. If you look at my like Apple Music like wrapped, that was my number one played song of 2023. And when I reacted to it, I said I would not be surprised if this was like in my top three played songs. It just embodied like 90s, like soloist, female soloist vibe. Um, she killed that. Uh, okay, that's two. Um, I'm gonna say. From his nine attitude, that's three. We talked about that earlier. From his nine just can do no wrong for me. Um, four would be four would be Espa Thirsty. Mm -hmm. Like I said, when Espa, when they just get rid of like the like no offense, like all the like crazy concept stuff and just let the girls get down to just music. 
they're dangerous mm-hmm. as a group. Like they have agreed. They get money. They get money. Like when it's just the four of you going here and 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 record a a bop, like they get money. So Thirsty was very fire. That's why they came into um, their own this year because they did yeah, that. Yeah, was like let them those just types be them. Of songs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those yeah. types of songs. Like I guess that was when they started the video. They broke out of the virtual world and like everything's glitching so like they're officially in the real world now welcome to my world which um, is also a banger yeah so i pray that they just keep that going like um and then okay this is tough i would say uh, i'm gonna give i'm gonna give this group love for what they went through odd eye circle Je ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi. I think how you uh that the core I was I've never I haven't been biased wreck like that in a long time. (laughs) That That video, I've been a Kim Lip bias since Eclipse, since her solo when they started. Each member got a solo, all 12. Um, they all got solos when they introduced them. So Kim Lip's been kind of my bias for but Jin Soul in that video, I was I've never I haven't been wrecked that hard in a in a in a long time. Um and yeah, that's that's probably my five. I just wanna before I stop, I just wanna give Kai love with sliding. Oh. That was a hell of a B side. Yeah and Dreamcatcher with Demian. Oh yes. Demian was oh, a hell of a B side too. Yeah. Put it to a top seven. <laughs> Man, look, hey, the the, the I, I knew I wasn't gonna get no top five B side. I, I looked at that and I'm like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do just a five. Like that's like my five, but like I feel so guilty not, especially with Kai, because like that sliding was like I still think he had the best solo debut to not win a music show, like that I've ever heard. Kai um, had one of the strongest yeah. debuts I've that ever That never heard. won. I'm like, but like then I look at what it went a up debut. Against. That album is yeah. one, of one of my best favorites best still yeah. to this the to timing this day. of it was just tough because the, the all the groups that won those that year was just like God. Uh, he was up against like some okay, but he's some Kai though. Oh, like anyway, I'm so but grateful yeah, for that's, that album. That's my damage. I'll go next after because of the fact that I was surprised by your first song because it's my song too, Top Line, Stray Kids. Because it's just so good, but not just that, bringing Tiger JK like an OG rapper. Mm-hmm. And his line starting out with like talking about there's no gravity where to where you can't reach. And they talk about tympanic cavity because then you can't reach the cavity all the way up there. I was like, oh. okay, automatic B-side favorite. Yeah. So there's that. There's Stray Kids Megaverse. I think there's something genius about the welcome to the Stray Kids hot. The way they slowed that Felix's voice and went right into it. Other one is Geo's Wishing on You. Very obviously why the high note stuff. Uh, Another one is AT's It's You. There's just something really hot about that song. Mm -hmm. And the last one is It's He's Bet on Me. I feel mm. like that was a nice shift for Itzy. Absolutely. A shift to like introduce what they're doing now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. But just like Lock, I'm heartbroken uh, that I can't add everything else. <laughs> no, yeah, it's 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 real tough. Yeah. I, I can give you my my five. Uh first I've got Underwater by Red Velvet. I mean <sighs> God, that song just hits so low. It's so good. The f- first time I heard that was like a stop me in my tracks kind of moment. That's my favorite B-side off of that album. Uh, then I'll go to Wake Up, uh, 80s. That song is crazy. That's basically my main gym motivator, mm-hmm. I-, I think, uh, throughout the year since I heard it. The energy is just nuts on that song. Then I'll choose Mine by Ive. <sighs> I don't, I don't even really know what it is about this song. I can't even really describe it, but it just... It's the kind of song that just the tone gives me chills uh, when the second part of that post-chorus hits. It's just so, so very good. So that's my favorite B-side off of their excellent, excellent album um, last year. Then I'll reiterate on Beam by Triple S. Uh, that is probably my favorite song of theirs. That's I use that for the outro in my videos. I absolutely just adore Beam so, so much. 
And then one that I actually realized I probably should have chosen for the performance section because they do have a live performance video of the song. Uh, and it is just like tied to a lot of my roots of my music. Cause when you guys talk about like where your experience comes from before K-pop, a lot of it is in hip hop or, or, or pop. And I'm like a pure rock metal core, like new metal. Like I, I'm, I'm into that kind of stuff. So a lot of artists kind of leaning towards a rock slant the last two years and drowning by woods is just oh. like an old rock anthem dude his vocals yeah. his passion oh, his yeah. emotion is just tremendous and i'm just now re realizing that i should have chosen that for my performance because if you have not seen him perform drowning in the live performance video it, you just owe it to yourself um it's immaculate so yeah those are my top five yeah i need you to message me all these titles <laughs> i'm trying to write it down but i got you Hey, okay. Uh, my top five is um, I actually did number them though. Yeah, me too. Um, I thought that was a requirement. I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna go. You can or you, you don't have to. It's up to you. It was too much stress for me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go from five to one. So from lowest, lowest to highest. Um, starting with Poison by NCT Dream. Genius hmm. song. Beautiful oh, song. Oh, damn. Beautiful song. <laughs> it might have, I just reacted to that too. Damn. Yeah, I know. It's a beautiful song. It's so good. And I think I haven't heard I'm a sorry, lot. I'm sorry, Dreamies. <laughs> They'll forgive you. Damn. Uh, I haven't heard a lot of NCT Dream's B-sides, but I feel like it, I don't know, it's a new direction for them, that what I've heard so far, and I really, really liked it. Um, number four, I have Diamond Days by Seventeen. That's mm. very, very mm -hmm. fun. Diamond uh, Days. I don't know. It's yeah, it works so well with their voices too. It's yeah. very good. It's very like first listen. I was like, oh, yeah, yep, that's the one. That's the one. Like favorite off of the album as well. So definitely you have to give her flowers. Um, number three, I have Snooze by Augusty, uh, Usung, and Richie's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't. It's just, it's a yeah, beautiful, it's a beautiful, beautiful song. song. Um, it's very supporting and comforting, and it's very heartbreaking at the same time. It's beautiful, and Yungi really did, like, I don't know, that's like one of his masterpieces. That's, I have never heard a song like that. Number two, we have Red Velvet's Will I Ever See You Again? Because. Mm. Genuinely, when I heard that song for the first time, I felt like I was not here. Like, I was not here. I was not in this earth. Like, it was crazy. We were, like, somewhere underwater. <laughs> I swear. We were, I don't know. Um, and then my number one B-side of this year. And I knew it also, like, yeah. from the second I heard this song, I, I knew like, it was going to be the best B-side. It's Attitude by From His Nine. It's, mm -hmm. I put all my friends, even non-K-pop friends, I was like, I have a song. <laughs> you have to listen <laughs> to this, please. Like I'm begging you. If I asked, if I, I remember going into the Discord server and just going like, guys, if I ever ask one thing of you guys, like even like just one thing, it's just to watch this live clip of them performing "Attitude." Definitely, that attitude is that girl. It really is that girl. Um, yeah, I think my, all of my songs have been mentioned by every. Oh, really? A combination, yeah. <laughs> so on five, I had Red Velvet's Underwater. Um, mm -hmm. That song is just... The, the fact that Sugi said that she had to dim the lights to sing this song is kind of crazy to me. Like, in the recording booth. Like, girl, what are you on? Relax. Don't say that to me. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, Doje Jung's Dive. Uh. Great ass song. I don't know. And then on three, I have 17. I don't understand, but I love you. Amazing song. Amazing song. Like, how, Hoshi, the genius you are. Hoshi. Hoshi. Oh, my God. So they had, like, a live, um, what was it, for their, like, comeback show mm -hmm. or something? They mm -hmm. did, like, a live after. And it's a thing that all fans say, like, in, like, the international fans say, like, I don't understand, but I love you. Because when it's not subtitled. And Hoshi read it, and he was like, 
Wow. That is so touching. This is so touching. This is amazing. This is doesn't so it, beautiful. This is so beautiful. This, this person doesn't like even a, understand us, but, but she like, loves us. This is really what love is. I couldn't imagine that it would be love like this. This is like a song lyric. We need to remember this. Boom. Next album. I don't understand. Imagine being that you. carrot. Like, Yeah, and that carrot came in our uh, comment section and reactions like, I was that carrot that said that. I was like, like I love oh, her so oh, much. Yeah. Right time, right moment to type that. Because whoo, we got an amazing song. That carrot's Number probably two. dead. <laughs> <laughs> Had a heart attack. I know. Oh my god. I love her so much, for real. Um, number two, Red Velvet. Will I ever see you again? <laughs> I don't know. Transcends. I don't know. I felt that in like every fiber of my being. Literally. Like in every piece of muscle or blood vessel i don't know what to tell you in my dna it was amazing and then number one from his night attitude like the second <laughs> we heard that that was it was it i wish it was a title track because i feel like if it was a title track it would have like maybe given from his nine a little bit more like you know but or like a special clip or something from just nine something so music video ish man. You just needed something like that attitude is just so good there the the song ah, it's so good <laughs> and just i don't know but like the perf the way they perform it bro oh the God. way they perform it yeah every yeah. single member just yeah. shines for real though like really like every single second you should just folk like fan cams this is what fan cams were made for. And the fact that there's not enough fan cams for this performance really fucks me up. Like, I want to see more. Like, what do you mean we only get, like, two sets of fan cams? Like, that's crazy. Like, official <laughs> ones, I mean. Yeah, they don't even like, do the full lineup, It's not even like, the full lineup that we got. Maybe I have crazy. to go back and check everything. Um, but, like, I think it wasn't even the full lineup of members that we got the fan cams for. Like, why are you doing this to our... I feel like that is pure sabotage. There's no way somebody there's somebody in a booth that's like they didn't smile at me one time or whatever here bro I'm gonna delete all your shit because that's no there's no way I want my girls to be released from the sweaty ass no anyways <laughs> hearing all of this is putting me into pain because I really like Promise Nine yeah. and, I, and I never got into Unlock My World I never got to it so oh! I'm waiting. I got that little morsel of attitude just sitting there waiting for me, and I can't, I can't wait for it. Amazing. Uh, no, I, I you just haven't gotten to that album. Please, do I want to be in your position. <laughs> Dude, I feel that all the time. Like, I want to re-experience it. Like, I let me no, forget. I can't believe. Honestly, Please. I've never. Whenever people typed that in the comment section, like, "Oh, I wish I could experience it," I never understood that because, like, if I enjoy something, I just enjoy it, and I will. It will feel like new every single time. But from his ninth attitude, <laughs> that is the song that, that I wish I could like re-enter my mom, be born again, go through life all over <laughs> again to get to this oh. point so that it could Back re listen womb. to attitude. For real. Oh, I'll put it to the top che, of the to-do yeah, list. Che Young on It's the first song chorus. on the album. Come on now. Yeah, no, oh. but I mean the album in general, I need to listen to the whole album. Che Young, don't even so get me good. started on that yeah, girl. Che Young like... on that last chorus when she walks out. Prom yes, night? Yeah. Oh also so good honorable mention <sighs> who was your bison from design again lock serum oh, so the good. one captain serum <laughs> uh, she my life screen. <laughs> now i ain't gonna lie though it, che young makes every day she's like the hondong to Jiu situation like i just like put her in the back please <laughs> In the Man, bag. Just imagine hitting it in the gym like they do to look like that and not getting a comeback every three weeks. Like, <sighs> right. should be consistent. Yeah. Back well, to back I don't, to back I don't to know back. what they thinking because they should be way, way bigger than what. And they're actually like, not to go on a tangent about them, but they're they're a great personality group to be like such a like you know like yep. people say like the visual nine thing and everything. Visual nine. They're, they have real charm. They're like, like they they're really female are seventeen. Sick. Like G1 yes! from his yeah. nine is like one of the funniest idols you would like oh, yeah. any comedian idols that you think are like that would she reminds me of Sue Young from uh from like Girls Generation so much. 
like they have that kind of savage like they or Miju from Lovelies mm. mm. like she'll say anything that type of thing you know what I mean the Juwan is my like bias she, she's unhinged with a dimple with a dimple on one side and like an amazing ass voice unhinged. like AF like she's <laughs> the way no, she they, sings their variety. Sometimes. I was going to say the variety is basically female 17. Like they're just so good in the way that they work with each other that I don't know how they're not bigger than they are. I don't understand. I don't understand. It's to the point where I might get back to their, their reality reactions just because like, just Just because I don't care if it gets one view just because. (laughs) Okay. So the last category, we're all reactors here. So it makes sense to end it with your top five MVs of 2023. No copping out. Don't be adding nothing to this one. Hold it. <laughs> Top five. Mm-mm. Don't be trying to sneak some other names in there. <laughs> trying to gain favor with the fandoms. Let's keep it real. All right, let me go first before I before I before I cave. Uh. XG Puppet Show. Nice. Stray Kids Top Line. Uh AT's Bouncy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Queen Car by Idol. Mm. Yeah. And my last one. Damn, I gotta pick. <laughs> I gotta pick. I gotta pick. Um my last one is going to be. She's going to Nobody Knows by Kiss of Life. Good choice. Yeah, nobody knows by Kiss of Life. I'm satisfied with that five. <laughs> I'll lock it in. Final answer. Final yeah, answer. I'm going to lock that one in. All right, I'll go next before I change my mind because I, I feel myself wanting to change it already. So Can I'm going to read what I literally you, wrote Anna? before I do that. So AT's is Bounty. Uh, Jungkook's standing next to you with Usher. That choked the hell out of me. Uh, XG's Shooting Star. It sees Ringo. I felt like Ringo was just a real, also another huge shift for It See for me, and Stray Kids S Class specifically because of the editing, especially when it gets to Changbin's little '90s kind of rap part. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, I did it. I can't change my mind anymore. <laughs> it's out there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, before everybody starts like influencing me so at, <laughs> at five i had Taman guilty at four i have xg left right at three new jeans cool with you a and b two espa drama one red velvet chill kill oh my mm. god mm. no i'm regretting you did it you did it <laughs> i'm done you did amazing you did amazing. i'm so proud of you cool with you was really cool yeah, yeah. cool with you was Anyway, <laughs> number five, XG Shooting Star. Number four, Rise Memories. Number three, Cool With You, side A and B. Number two, XG's Girl Gang. And hey. number one is Aspa's Drama. Mm. Just because everything about that, like the concept, the editing, the style, the looks, the song itself, everything about that, top notch. Savage. Savage. I guess I can go next, man. Uh, you know, I got a top eight. I'm just joking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait. <laughs> uh, so number one for me is Misa Mo, Do Not Touch. Nice. Uh, whoever did the lighting on that video deserves whatever award you give to lighting people. Because <laughs> <laughs> that is some of the most beautiful lighting. That hat, when the light is creeping through the hat and the black and white and yeah. Misamo, do not touch Shooting Star by XG. Good stuff. <laughs> and the reason I, I'll say this because uh 1080p was talking about XG since we since they debuted. We had checked them out up to that point, but I wasn't really taking them that serious. I just was like, yo, they're dope. Cool. But shooting star was what really was like, no, pay attention. Yep. Yep. We're dead serious. <laughs> uh, shooting star. Uh I didn't expect this to make my list, but it did. DPR in. Uh, when we dance, or, wow. uh, so I dance. <laughs> that video is a straight up okay. art piece. I don't know what that guy be on, but I want some of it. Uh, <laughs> Jimin set me free. Uh, simple music video, but I'm talking about yo. That dude had me when he's like, "Hey." <laughs> <laughs> Notice he says the "Hey," and that beat drop. I lose it. I'm done. 
<laughs> I don't even need to hear any more of this song. I want to hit rewind right there. Uh, yeah, that's four. Number five, S Class, Stray Kids. Um, for all the reasons everybody mentioned today. <sighs> mm-hmm. This is tough. It's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> You want to go first? Let me knock it out. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> number one, uh, John Cook featuring Lotto Seven. Uh, number two, Ooh. DPR Ian. Uh, Don't go insane. Shout out to DPR Ian. Mm-hmm. Uh, number three, Jimin Semi Free. Mm. Uh, number four, uh, Seventeen Super. And then number five, uh, Espa Spice. Mm. Ooh, spicy. spicy. I'm a fan. Sorry. Spicy. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. The first list of V is not on. He's seething. <laughs> right. <laughs> no V. <laughs> Woo. All right, all right, all right. Deep in, don't go insane. Dreamcatcher, Bon Voyage. The Seraphim, Eve, like, yeah. here's wife. 17, super. Mm-hmm. And Jew Honey Freedom. Oh, yeah. oh my God. That was my favorite video. Freedom. Of the year. Freedom. <laughs> that was hard. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. I regret <laughs> not having him the- anywhere. I almost had him for my best rapper. But, you know. Oh, yeah. I had him best rapper almost. Yeah. I literally wrote no. him down. <laughs> my list. Chris, are you over there? I have. Uh, I didn't change anything. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, there's a lot of these. That, there's a lot of these that weren't on yours. I'm surprised. That's really nice. Um, so we get to say some new stuff. Hey. Idols, I do for all the reasons I said before. Oh I'd say Triple S Girls Capitalism, which I think they nailed the yeah. free-spirited fun of that group. Yeah. It's like this yeah. Wes Anderson. Like I, I, I love the style of that. It's just so much fun. Um, then I would take uh, which if you were to be an and you were given all the money in the world, you would make this, and that's Kung. I want to be a badass Western Grim Reaper. Mask X effects in the desert. Like, it is just so badass. I love that one. I'd say Onu's Circle, which is just, like, haunting and weird. It's like if you mixed the Truman Show with Mr. Rogers wow. and made it a little trippy yeah. and disturbing. Yes. It's, it's, it's both comforting and really unsettling. I love right. that about that uh, music video. Uh, and then finally, I would say CIX's Save Me, Kill Me, which is a oh. really, really, really special video that if yes. you have not watched yes. it, yes. You're you so need to watch right. it. Yes, yes, <laughs> it's, yes. um, that K-pop doesn't, K-pop doesn't often or necessarily enough tackle real yes. true shit. And that video does with tact and with great effort and both the choreography, the performance, which you don't see in the full video, which I recommend doing the unrated one, which it's kind of longer mm-hmm. and they're set up, but it is such a beautiful video. Um, you know, dealing with loss and suicide, etc. It's incredible. Mm-hmm. It's so What's um, the name of the song again? So, yeah. Save, Save me, me, Kill Me by CIX. I'll write that down. It's a very special video. It's an amazing song. One of my amazing favorites song. of the year. Amazing song. Um, really great. The acting in that music video get, is also I gotta impeccable. get back into them because so uh, Movie Star, I think they had Movie yeah. Star was there. Yeah. yeah. That was yeah. 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 CIX. Yeah. That was Cinema, so Cinema is my favorite of theirs. I love, their stuff is really good. Okay. I know, so that yeah, was all I know. the list. We finally made it. We, we made it. it through the whole list. We did it. We did it. Uh, Complete. I know that I know I didn't uh this in a message or anything like that, but I'm curious, is there any concerts this year that you guys are possibly looking forward to? XG. If you, know, if you can only go to one concert this whole year. Only one. Well, oh, only oh, one. I'm not, I'm not okay. we, so we can we can we can pretend they're coming. Or do you mean yes, yes, like you they actually do have to come? <laughs> you you could pretend because <laughs> uh, you just crushed my dreams with the whole red velvet thing. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. I mean, Irene did that, but you know, are we? What about ones that we're going to? Because I'm going to one in three days. Can we talk oh. about ones we're going to? Who are you oh, going to? Are you going to? 
I'm going to Phoenix to see Odd Eye Circle, and then I'm going to fly to LA to see Odd Eye Circle again. Wow. I'm, wow. I'm, a, I'm a diehard Luna fan, and like, I'm, that's what's up. I like I'm, that. I'm, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. And then I've in March, so Ooh, cool okay. stuff. But if we want to talk about who we want to see, I mean, I'm just going to break that rule and say my number one on my bucket list is Red Velvet. Like, I have to see Red Velvet. They're they're the number one of of you know. See them before maybe it's too late. So please tour the U.S. Please. <laughs> please. <laughs> if we're going that route, then I'm going to say 17. Like they're Whoa. they're not going to come, but 17. Wait, so y'all haven't seen 17 like in concert at all? Damn, they need to go over there. Country. I think like they never all, ever they came go, to Europe. They never came to yeah. Europe except for all of their variety, almost and all like, of their variety content. And what? then they, they, they came to Paris. They come there. They go to Paris. Fashion Paris. Week. No, no, no. They came to Milan Paris for. Week. They did Paris for the thing. UNESCO, and we UNESCO. weren't. We didn't get the ticket. Damn. Mm. So right, they do everything except yeah. of all reaction pressure. channels. Y'all deserve to see seventeen. Um, right. So I think hype and their unwillingness to like do concerts in countries that do not adhere to dynamic pricing is uh, the reasoning why we wow. probably will never be seeing. That's so them. unfair for idols and the fans. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're down. Like we're getting, we're, we're getting we're... punished because our government looks out for us. For real, <laughs> we're dead ass thinking about just going to the U.S. when they announce the next tour, like. So who knows? We might see. We each might other see you guys. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. If you, yeah, if you ever come, you should let us know. For sure, like definitely. Yeah. Even okay, like if um, Stray Kids and ATs releases theirs, then they don't happen to make a Texas stop. I will do my best to like figure out either going to the east or the west coast. Nice. Yeah, I had tickets to C seventeen in New York, and I didn't go, Damn. Uh, and I wasted my ticket. It's because I had a flight the next day, and I was like, uh, it's just a lot, and I chose not to, and it was a bad decision. <laughs> and I had my ticket, too. I wasted it. Damn. Yeah. It's your bias, though. <laughs> I know. Well, I just, yeah. No, it's a bad decision. I didn't want to relive it, but I wanted to kind of let you carry a little bit of that pain that I carry <laughs> <from> not going. <laughs> so that's why I brought it up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I don't know. It hurts more for some reason. <laughs> well, I, I know for me, we've we've kind of seen a, a lot of groups that we all already wanted to see yeah. perform, which is good. So it kind of helps check them off of the list. And IU already announced the tour, so I don't face. have to say her name anymore. Oh. But I will say, like, I agree. Red Velvet is, I, I have mm -hmm. to see Red Velvet live. I felt like the experience is going to be Mamamoo or Jace uh, for me. Like, the feeling that I'm going to feel at the concert and I know that they can literally do the whole concert just B-sides. They don't have to do a single single. And they still going to kill the whole show. So it, it has to be Red Velvet for me. Mm. That's something you're fucking up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's with these companies, man? Uh, for me, most definitely is going to be Shiny. Oh, yeah. They come. Hey, I, have, yeah. I have to go. So, Shiny. I got to agree, Shiny. You know, we, we consume so much of that content, so I would love to see them live. I think I'd cry the whole time if I was all shiny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Can I can I go crazy? Like uh how 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 crazy can our answers be? <laughs> go, yeah, ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. What you thinking? I wanna see God Seven again. Ooh. It's gonna I want happen. Them. I want it's gonna them happen. together. It's gonna happen. Out of that freaking military, like it's gonna happen. I know green is the color, but green is not the color. <laughs> uh, so I really want to see God Seven. It's, it's gonna like happen. The... I believe. Twenty twenty five. I need it. I it's gonna need happen. It. They they confirmed the comeback. I am delusional. It's gonna happen. That's why I didn't even say it. Because I'm gonna go. It's okay. So I don't want you have to tell yourself that. That's how you wake up the next existence. day. Just say it'll exactly. happen. All you gotta do. Talk it into existence. I know. So yeah. She got locked. Next time we're doing like a whole collaboration thing, it's gonna be a crazy story about God's having seen us <laughs> and <laughs> then Uzam got married to Yu Gi Oh or something. Like it's gonna be something insane. <laughs> I would love to see Wavy. Mm. Oh, oh damn. Yeah. Yeah. I would love to see Wavy. With Lucas? Think, uh, or or yeah. as they currently stand. 
I know that co- might co- uh, come it, I mean, if I if I had a if I had a choice, like of course I would I would bring Lucas back because like you can't do songs like Love Talk and stuff like that without Lucas. Dude, I but, saw well, well I yeah. saw Love Talk at KCon and they certainly did, and it was awesome. <laughs> it was so great. I was way I was, I was praying for that. I was like, Love Talk is such a banger. It's such and they a did banger. It. Oh, dude, the whole arena was just in unison. Like it was amazing. It was so amazing. Okay, well, let's just end the stream. We could talk off stream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Everybody, I loved everybody's answers. It was- Thank you so much, Thank yo, you so for, much. for organizing this. Every- yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. So much love. Absolutely. It's always fun. <laughs> so, yeah, let's end the stream. Bye. Yeah, yeah, see bye. y'all. Bye. bye. bye.